All right, story time. Story time. Homecoming Wardens. Before embarking on the next level of the journey, the express receive a call from the Shanzhou Luofu. Ying Wan extend an invite to all wanderers to join the Wardens. Navigate. Teleportation. You have an interstellar message. Please check it promptly. Will do. Beep, 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 beep. Wow. Ah, he's so cute. Look at Pom Pom. What's up, Pom Pom? Can I get a message from the Jiangju Lufu? It's like you conflict with our original schedule. Oh my god. Not the conflict. It's been a while, my friends, on the Astro Express. How's the trailblazing expedition going? Oh my god, he's awake. Soon, the Shanzhou Lufu will be holding the Luminary War Dance. Those who have aided the Lufu in overcoming the crisis are cherished allies of the Shanzhou. Thus, on behalf of the Seat of Divine Foresight, I'm extending an invitation to attend the ceremony. Your presence will be greatly appreciated. <laughs> well, things are getting lively. We've barely recovered from the family's Charmony Festival and we're already being invited to another special event. Uh, trailblazer, trailblazing is all about having fun. Yatta! Well, then think about it this way. Our trailblazing expeditions are turning to blast expeditions, where we eat, drink, and play wherever we go. Blast expeditions? Yeah, wherever we go, we eat, play, and have a blast. So we should leave March behind to take care of the express. Hey, that's not what I meant. I'm all for some fun. I just hope there won't be any surprise party crashes like Friday or Saturday. The Shenzhou Lufu has recently overcome a crisis. By holding the war dance, they're demonstrating to everyone that they've returned to a state of peace and safety. But that's what everyone said before we went to Pinakoni. You'll be totally safe under the family's protection. No need to worry. The war dance sounds like this charming festival with all its hidden secrets. It's just a festival to honor the Rainbow Arbiter, and the clan now who fought against the abomination of abundance and protected the Shanzhou ships. Aside from Starsky's performances, it's mostly Martian contests, nothing too different from the Taikian Robo Ball contest we've seen before. What do you say, Himiko? Since we've accepted Miss Black Swan's proposal, we should probably head to Am Forest for refueling. Mm, there's certainly no rush. This trailblazing expedition is quite unique, and the Express needs to be fully stocked and prepared before moving on to the next stop. With Madame Hurt's help, I was planning to deliver some Leviathan fossils from Kalanga based to Rome, member in 81 of the Junior Society. It could earn us some favors before we set off. However, it may take a few weeks. So that means we're not going to the Luofu. Being an adult means maintaining relationship, whether we like it or not, March. Since we've been invited, it's only right for the Israel Express to attend the ceremony. So here's the plan. Pom Pom will take everyone to the Shangju Luofu. Mr. Yang and I will meet up with Ruan Mei and fulfill our promise. Meanwhile, Kitty March and Dan Heng will represent the Express and attend the war dance. What do you two think, Kitty and Dan Heng? I want to play with Leviathan fossils too! True, sounds great, let's play into groups. Hell yeah! I don't hear any objections. Now that everyone's on board with the plan, it's time to work to the Changyo Lufu. Hell yeah! Warpity! Warpity! War, 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 warpity! Warpity! What do you guys think? Kalanga Abyss. What does she expect to find there? Current research on Leviathan merely proves how little we know about such life forms. The Leviathan That's why geniuses are interested in that field. Science is all about uncovering the unknown. The conversation between the two adults bring with complex jargon from assumptive astrobiological chemistry to try blah 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 blah. I want to read what he said. Transdimensional evolutionary theories filling the carriage with an air of dense perplexity. Have a safe trip, you two. Come back soon. <laughs> Don't miss us too much, Kitty. If I stumble upon some cool device and fossils, I'll bring a few back as souvenirs for you. Ada! Bet! Sub down, hang, and march. Himiko really knows how to convince people. <laughs> Between Leviathan fossils and the war dance, the latter definitely sounds more fun. 
By the way, Dan Hang, this time you'll be taking a stroll with us on the Lufu, right? Just let you and Kitty wander around and aimlessly on the Lufu by yourselves. I don't think so. Plus, Mr. Yang is right. The Ambrosial Harbor crisis just ended. And both the long life and short life species are still feeling uneasy. That's why Jing Yuan wants to organize a war dance to show that the Jianju Lufu is still stable and safe. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna go great according to the trailer. It's only whether it's my old friend. Yes, sir! To my old friend, baby! Coming back to this place brings back so many memories, you know? So, here's something for all of you. A poem by March 7th. Hey, I'm not actually recite- I'm gonna recite a poem. I was just thinking about all the twists and turns we went through when we first arrived on the Shanju. This time, we're not being forced or enticed or chased after wanted criminals. And we didn't have to sneak in through the cargo dock. This trip has been incredibly smooth. Quite unusual, I must say. Uh, we're so easily pleased, I actually feel sorry for us. <laughs> Such is the fate of us nameless, I suppose. True. Kitty, I saw the scary firing commission's notice that the express is docked on the Chancho. I guess I'm the lure for already. Uh, quick good news, eh? <laughs> the jail sent me to welcome you all at Starskiff Haven. See you in a bit. Oh my god, I can't wait to be power crave by March 8th. That's gonna be insane. <laughs> Is the Starskiff Haven always this crowded? There's so many people here. I can barely hear any. Oh, god, god! <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> that would be so random for Kafka to be there. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I wouldn't be against it, that's for sure. Alright. We need to- I need to level up my march. I can't send her. I can't send her! I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be farming this shit. Yanjin said General Jingyuan sent him to welcome us, but where is he? I'm just looking for Tingyun. Let's wait for him from the loom. It's the most prominent landmark on the dock. Hello? Tis I, the kitty. Hey, you guys, hold on a moment. Did they just call us? Look at the outfit, they're from Pinacony, right? It's a Pepeshi can touch your ball! Are you familiar with the Janshu Lofu? We know little about it, what do you need? We're from Pinacony, maybe you've heard of it. We came to the ship to gather interesting materials for making dream bubbles. We just left there, talk about coincidence. Oh, that's great. Do you know any mercy attractions on the Lofu? Um, you've come to the right people. Exactly, we're Janjo experts. Most of the tourists around at the moment here are here to attend the war dance, and that's why we're here too. Yeah, we know about the ceremony, but isn't the fighting ring still closed? I've heard the ring was actually converted from a huge decommissioned Louisville fighter jet. Oh, so it's even bigger than the Rage and Felspar. The Rage and Felspar is bigger, I guess. But for now, all we can do is wait until the warden starts in a few weeks before we can board it. It's a good way to do, so we can't just sit around waiting for it to start. That's why we're asking you about some musty attractions. We're looking for unique experiences that you won't find on Pinacony. Our clients love these kind of dreams, bubbles the most. You're the expert here, Kitty. Give them some suggestions. Uh, Ormal is pretty cool. Fix troll garden if you want some spook. Um... Uh, the top of Ambrosial Arbor. I would say Orm Alley. I think it's a nice spot to like see a little bit of everything of the culture, grab some snack, taste the, taste the cuisine. Good idea. The everyday vibe of the Orm Alley is a rare find on the planet of festivities. Everyday vibe? Yeah. Our clients have had the fair share of drilling pumping dreamscapes. Maybe something down to earth would touch your hearts. Good news? Oh, do tell. Thanks for the suggestions. We'll head to the Orm Alley to get their materials. Maybe we'll run into each other there in a couple of days. Look, Yanjing's here. Really? Let's go catch up with him! You know how much and when? Ooh, is it a lot and like right now? Oh, speaking of how much and when. You gotta tell me. A fortune, I hope.
what the? Um. I DM you. A deep side crane, are you okay? What? Am I blocking your view? Just a moment. I'm about to fly away. Um where are you flying to? No idea. I don't even know where I want to fly towards. Why not just fly to the other shore? I want to fly down from here and end my existence. I will say goodbye to my short avian existence. Don't try to deter me. I've already made up my mind. Please do not attempt to imitate me under any circumstances. Just don't do it. I didn't want to bear responsibility for a stranger's life. What, are you still trying to talk me out of it? Uh, I don't think he's off into the corner. Ah, uh, you're right. I have far too little RAM to understand such complex matters. You're a kind person. I want to talk with you for a moment more. I've actually tried to self-distract on many occasions, but every time I plunge a certain depth in the port, something called the Aeron Express safety system will automatically take over my movement component. Bro. Uh, it's bored. Let me fix it. I'm sorry for that. I'm getting trolled, and then I fly back up here. Without any bodily autonomy, I can't even decide when I can end this life. Is there any meaning to living such a life as a bird? What would you say if humans had no autonomy over your own bodies? Wouldn't you feel hopeless about life? I will rise up in resistance! Resistance is sure that you are incredible, and the future will become... No, you're probably a great person right now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm being trolled. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, I'm being massively fucking trolled. This is so annoying. All right. Uh, okay, I'm talking to the Psycrane. He wants to die. He's pissed off that this has like an automatic system to protect him or whatever. He's not having a good time, essentially. Uh, but we did help him out. He feels better. He feels relieved. All Psycrane such gifted orators. As far as I know. All right, good times. Uh, essentially, my credit card got frozen like twice in a row and it's annoying. Okay, can I make this work now? Yes, please. Finally, Jesus Christ. Like, they, like my car got frozen, and then I did, no, I tried to do this payment. Please unfreeze. So they did, oh, okay, thank you for letting us know. And I tried the payment again, and they froze my car a second time. Like, um, whoopsie, you need to unfreeze the card. I'm like, I already did, you bitch.
Jesus, I'm getting trolled. I'm just playing. I'm just trying to play my silly gacha game, please. Uh, we were free. I became depressed. Uh, pretty understandable, right? What do you plan to do now? Uh, going back to his courier job. I'm going to find Zisha who works at Aaron Express. You can mention my name. Darn it. I don't even have a name. Tell her you're the one who convinced me to return to my position. Maybe I'll receive some kind of reward. Consider it my gift. Goodbye, dear strangers. And friend. Yanjin! Mina, I'm coaching you. You're such a small boy voice. Hey, everyone. It's been a while. Doesn't feel like it's been that long since we last saw you. But Yanjing, are you? What's up, Miss March? They say it grows really fast. Yanjing, are you a little bit taller than before? No way. My 3D model did not change whatsoever. You're crazy, lady. Ah, uh, we've only been away for a few months. Cautiously pinch Yanjing's cheek. Uh, what are you doing, Kitty? Sorry, but after our previous adventures, I've become suspicious of whoever greets us first. Do you have to be suspicious around me too? You know, the last time we came to the Shancho, the first person who greeted us was... I, I get it. Better say than sorry. Time to pinch every single person that talks to us. Hell yeah. Seriously, I've never seen the Luffy so lively before. I was a bit worried that holding the wardens right after the Ambrosial Harbor crisis might be too soon. But seeing the bustling Starskiff Haven, I understand why General Jing Yuan chose this timing. Yep, there's people from other delves and travelers like you three who've come from afar. Pinching now. Okay, come here, princess. <laughs> When the warden is coming up, there's a huge number of visitors pouring to the Skarsky Haven. The Cloud Knights are working hard to keep the security tight. The general said the ceremony would help the Janjo Luofu recover from the crisis. It's a way to showcase our martial spirits, reassure people, boost morale, and attract visitors from other planets to promote trade and peace. By the way, the Shanshu Alliance places great importance on this ceremony too. The Shanshu ships, the Zhuming and the Yaoxing have both sent messengers to offer their blessings. Uh, the Yaoxing? Yeah, the Shanshu Yaoxing is a major force in hunting down abomination and is always engaged in conflict across the cosmos. Although it's a member of the Shanshu Alliance, I don't know much about it. But Madame Yu Kong from the Skyfaring Commission mentioned that the Yao Xing always sends back reports of great victory, which is quite impressive. That's also way, where Su Sheng comes from. Comes from. Our general Fei Shao of the Yao Xing is a young and dauntless lady. My peers say that she's like a goddess of war, capable of crushing dozens of abomination with a single punch. I wonder if it's true. I also heard she's gonna be Akron level of powerful and the next massive meta unit. If only I could witness her prowesses with my own eyes. By the way, Yanqing, where are we headed next? I'm sorry for taking your ears off. The general wants to catch up with you at the Palace of Astrum. Uh, he's been eager to hear about how the Express has been doing. You have no one that can break Kukulia, sadly. Aww. It's funny how he tries to act all mature, but whenever it comes to something he's interested in, you can really see his childish side. Uh, what about trying some shenanigans with, like, um, preservation trailblaze? That's a decent amount of break. Yeah, he's adorable. Gallagher was free. Can't you break Kokolia with Gallagher? Well, you're pretty much the same in that regard. I agree. Frantic roars! Gar! All units, assemble quickly! Get ready to protect the crowd! Okay, I just mentioned security and now all of a sudden something's gone wrong. Excuse me, I need to go check out the situation. Uh, it's like whatever you fear will happen, happens. You just said Jinka's March. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? We'll go with you. Hi! It 
it's a body scene. Oh, cinematic power. Let's go. Oh, it's an actual fight. Oh, oh, oh. Enemies with the smart can enter the moon rape state. After enemies use, use attacks, apply one stack of bloodless to enemies unit that can trigger moon rage. Okay. When Bloodless features the center of stacks, the unit enters the Moon Rage state. At the same time, a Moon Rage countdown appears on the action order. When the countdown turns begins, Moon Rage is dispelled across all enemy units. Okay. Guess you detected. Hey, what's up? I'm not sure what to call you. Jean, Jean Nice, Jean Nice, Nice, GNI, GNY, Nai, Nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> but hi! Feel common! Urrara! Oh. Oh! When they attack, they also put, gain some stacks of bloodlust, interestingly enough. Okay. They can call me nice. Sounds good. Bop bop. Bring. Ooh! Bye, Dogo. Bye. Have a great time. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Let me give her his sword back, you pleb! <laughs> Did you guys see the meme between Yanqing and uh, uh between Yanqing and well the meme, the small comic I guess, between Yanqing and Yunli? And uh Yunli's like, Do you like sword? And Yanqing's like, Yeah, I love sword, and she's like, Oh really? Then name every sword. <laughs> Really? They name every single sword. It's like what? <laughs> Yuli's so cute. Yeah, that's the 50-50, so I'm gonna skip her. Uh and I'll 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 just pull for Ling Sha and uh Fei Sha when they come out. <laughs> I just find it so funny. Like I feel Yunli has so much like she's such a small little cat of like she's a cat ball of energy. And she's such a gremlin, I love her. I could definitely see her being like a massive shithead. <laughs> Uh, like, I really, I re- man, I love her, but I can't get her. I shouldn't. Nah, I need to be reasonable. But she's so great, and she reminds me of Senti. Oh, she's like a baby Fuha. She's a baby Fuha. Mm -hmm. But I can't get her. Maybe I'll get her the re rerun, maybe. She rerun in, like, eight patches or some shit. <laughs> You need a physical DPS? Wait, my sword! I don't even know if I have a physical DPS. I don't think I do. I mean, I have, I have Clara, which is literally... I mean, she's like a, a worse Yunli, I guess. Although my Clara is... Yeah, no. I mean, to be fair. To be fair. Um... I could build Sushong and do some shenanigans, but also like it doesn't matter because like I have Firefly. It's like oh, you don't have physical DPS, you just use Firefly. <laughs> I, I can use Firefly or like Icaron and just not care about weaknesses, right? Class Light Cone, yeah, and I actually have it right there. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't increase your the the aggro um but yeah it's just like as i said the problem is that there's like other unit that i really want and uh unless i want to spend like a shit ton of money i, I should just save from here on 
I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we'll have to put our plans on hold for now. I need to find out what's going on. Yeah, sure, kid. It's nothing personal, kid. Oh, well, I appreciate your rescue. My Janju friends, don't you think it's a bit too much to detain us in our cargo? Sorry, but we've been ordered to detain you and your cargo for inspection until we figure out the source of the attack. Once we're done with the formalities, we'll let you and your cargo go. Yeah, I'm not pulling for Foxboy either. I'm saving for, as I said, next patch. Link Sha and Fei Shao on both. But the shipment isn't even meant for the Luofu and it's IPC's patented technology. What do you think you are to conduct an inspection? According to the protocol, all cargo arriving on the Luofu must go through inspection. But we didn't officially enter your dock at all. We just sought refuge in your dock because we were attacked by the Borisin. Looks like this argument could go on forever. Let's not get involved in a heated dispute that won't lead to a resolution. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna pull both even if I have to sell a kidney, not gonna lie. Man, the thing is I already, like, uh, recently I spent like a hundred bucks in ZZZ, and I don't know if I want to spend a hundred bucks here too. Ma, I mean, uh, maybe if I suck a few dicks, I could probably, like, get one of the characters, but do I want to suck a few dicks? I'm not sure. Uh, I'll think about it. I mean, Yunli is gonna be on banner for like three weeks, so... Uh, if I feel like I don't have any self-esteem, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. We'll see. Who's in charge here? I need some answers. It's my fault. We let the car down for a moment. I take full responsibility. Oh, look at this fox shot. It looks pretty good. But the warden's approaching. Safety should be top priority. Now, tell me, how did Boris in prisoners end up in Starsky Haven? According to the protocol, Boris and prisoners should be held on Starskiff and taken directly to the shackling prison under strict supervision without ever touching the ground. Who will have the prisoner transport ship to dock at the passenger terminal? Please don't blame this captain. This incident involves the Zhuming's diplomatic vessel. I follow and lurk. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate and thank you for the lurk. Have a good one. Cheers. Who are you? I'm Lu Jun, an officer of the patrol defense squad. Thank you for your help, Lu Jun Janjin. The situation unfolded rapidly, and it shouldn't be held against the captain. Here's what happened. An IPC transport ship was attacked by the Borisin just before arriving, and a Zhuming's diplomatic vessel came to the rescue. They fought off the Borisin pirates and imprisoned them on the ship. So, an IPC ship was attacked by the Borisin near the Luofu, and the Zhuming envoys saved them. This sounds complicated. Honestly, it gives me a headache too. The Zhuming diplomatic ship, during to standard procedure, docked at the passenger terminal to hand his criminal over to the Luofu. You know, with all the outsiders floating to the lower food, the Starsky flames are under immense pressure. The boys in Desperados decided to put up a fight before the prisoner transport Starsky could get there. And that's what you just witnessed. We make sure these prisoners are sent to the shackling prison as soon as possible. I see. It's an unusual situation indeed. I reported to the security department of the Realm Keeping Commission and asked for their cooperation in handling the aftermath. Maybe I should gather more details from others so that the Seed of Divine Foresight can have a better understanding of the situation. Smart. Uh, but he's smart. The Cloud Knights calmed the crowd, then dispersed, and the switch was restored. You look much more mature now, Yanjin. Please don't tease me, Miss March. The situation on the Jianzhou before the Wardens is like a calm lake that can be disturbed by even the smallest pebble, capable of generating far reaching ripples with even the slightest disturbance. What are those people? I mean, those monsters we just dealt with. They're kobolds, right? <laughs> you call them the Borisin? <laughs> Yeah, those werewolf monsters are known as Borisin. They are abomination of abundance, and we've been fighting them for a very long time. The Borisin have been a powerful force for a long time, plundering and enslaving many worlds. The threat they pose is just as terrible as the swarm disaster, and the Alliance even had a fierce war with them three decades ago. The presence has faded over the years, but who would have thought? According to that officer, the attack an IPC ship near the Chanju Luofu. Such a brazen attack seems quite unusual to me. Yeah, that's what I find strange too. It sounds like the IPC and the boys have some serious grudges. Well, enough with the chit chat. The general wants me to take you to the Palace of Astrum. Uh, 
I'd love to chit chat a little longer, but there's some things that can't be left unchecked. Is it the serious matter? Maybe you'll need our help in handing down the boys in. Thank you, but it's no big deal. By the way, the young lady who just appeared, she took my sword. I'm thinking of filing a lost property report at the Realm Keeping Commission to see if I can get it back. <laughs> I got she did it on purpose. Uh, uh, you go file the report and I go fetch the popcorn, it's gotta be quite the show. Don't remind me, I just zoned that for a moment, that's all. Alright, let's not keep the general waiting. Don't worry, there are many people out there with the camp talent. It shouldn't be too hard to find her. Yeah, there aren't many people out there, sorry. Oh god, cat is being cat. There's sure a lot of trouble maidsikers around. That guy is being weird. Oh, that's a Borisin for sure, 100%. That guy is a Borisin, I believe. They can like shapeshift and shit, he's a Borisin. He was acting super suspicious. I don't like him. Don't bash it, thank you for the- <gasps> Hua Yan! That's the master of Fu Hua! I mean, Yunli. He's so small! He's like a little baby! Is his name Master Shifu too? Joe, how about a guest from the Express? I'm sorry for my bad timing. I didn't know you were meeting a guest, General. Yeah. Don't worry, you're just in time. It's been a while, my friends from the Astro Express. Um, I've dreamed about you on Pinacony. Oh, well, it's not to be in your dreams, my friend. Yeah, you're fucking me dirty. Allow me to introduce you to General Hua Yan. He's the Arbiter General of Zhangzhou Zhumi, known as the Flaming Heart. No need to be so formal. I'm just a tourist here, no different from other tourists who come to attend the ceremony, yeah? Elder Huayan is not only one of the Arbiter General, but also the furthest master of the Artisanship Commission. Besides his martial skills, he excels in forging various weapons. Such talents are unique even among the Arbiter Generals. Be it Arbiter General or Furnace Master. These are merely titles given to me long ago. I've retired several times already, but with the current change in circumstances, the marshal has called me back to duty. And I had no choice but to answer the call. So, because of uh, the new path that March 7 is gonna get in the game, I've learned that Shifu means master, and so in Cook from Panda, Master Shifu is literally called Master Master. So that's kind of fun. Master Master! That's me! Please call me master. <laughs> well, in the end, I'm to blame. Living such a long life naturally brings its share of disapproval. It's an honor to meet you, General Huayan. It's my honor to meet you. Glad to meet you, General. No need to be a formal. Today I'm just a guest on the Luofu, the same as all of you. Alright. So these were the ones you mentioned, Jingguan. The heroes who help you with the Ambrosial Harbor Crisis. Indeed, there's Dan Heng, March 7th and Kitty. Without their help, I'm afraid the Luofu might, have easily might not have easily overcome the crisis. So the Imbibitor Luna is reincarnation has returned to the Luofu and will attend the war dance. I would love to have a drink with you should the chance present itself. You're more than welcome, General Huayan. And this young friend is... Uh, Yanqing, my apprentice, remains by my side of my retainer due to his youth, which I hope will season him with experience. He will stand for the Luofu's Cloud Knights in the upcoming war dance, ready to take on all kinds of challenges. Great, great. It's a real treat to see many talented young people around here today. Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot. This is my apprentice, Yunli. It's you! Oh, it's you. Hello! You two already know each other. Guess we don't need any introductions then. What a coincidence. I was afraid I'd have trouble finding this girl. Oh, now you've piqued my curiosity. Tell me, how did you two become acquainted? She helped me capture the escaped boys in prison at the Skarsky Haven. Allow me to express my gratitude for you, but when you left, you took my flying sword with you. Your flying sword? Oh, so that's why I found a dagger in my bag. Turns out it's yours. Yes, it is. 
That we've met again, I hope. Nope, that won't do. Won't do? You want your sword back, right? Well, you can't just take it back. I'm assuming when you lose your sword in the battlefield, you have to reclaim it on the battlefield. As for this little sword, it was supposed to strike the escape boys in prisoner, but unfortunately, its owner agitated state caused it to fly off like a kite with a broken string and it missed its target. By the way, if I hadn't caught it and helped it hit its mark, that boys in prisoner would have gotten away. Hold on a sec, Yunli. You took my sword without even asking, and now you're refusing to give it back. <laughs> so much for Luofu Swordmasters. What did you just say? If you just stepped up and looked your sword back from me fair and square, and took your sword back, I would have totally respected you, but nobody tried to play it down, expecting me to just hand it back to you like it's nothing in front of everyone. With all due respect, you don't honor your sword, so you don't deserve it. Hasn't anyone told you that taking without asking is stealing? If you want to sell this with sword, fine. Let's have a one-on-one -on -one duel right now. Yanjin. Well, that's more like it. Just be careful because I'm not as easy to handle as the boy is in. You two be quiet and apologize to Jinjin. Hey, whose side are oh, you on, Grandpa? Damn. I, I I don't take sides. It's a small misunderstanding, and an apology would be too much. I've heard about the Zhuming's incredible swordplay and craftsmanship, most notably the legendary Flame Will Octet, seeing Miss Yunli, who is among those ranks today. I must say, she definitely has that fiery edge. Such Queen Joe's name, some folks love to spin these fancy titles. Trying to set the Cloud Knights apart, Yunli is still just a young girl, a bit awkward and hot-tempered, so please forgive her if she's being rude. Well, everyone, Elder Hua Yan and I have some business to discuss. For now, Yanqing, why don't you entertain our guests and take Miss Yunli to the inn? I found another chance to talk with you all. I would like to express my gratitude to the Astral Express for helping the Luofu during the crisis. That's so kind of you. I mean, you already thanked us so many times. Please forgive me for coming at an inconvenient time. You didn't apologize, General Hua Yan. Alright, Yunli, take this opportunity to clear things up with Yanqing. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. It's better to make friends than enemies, but I won't be headed to the inn just yet. I want to visit Lingsha. She just arrived on Luofu and could use some help settling in. <gasps> Do we get to meet her? Yanqing, once you help our guests go sold, go to the Artisanship Commission for me. I've heard about the attack and the detainment of the IPC ship. Xinju sent word that the IPC members are protesting and wish to have the cargo back. Okay. I'll see if you can calm them down. Don't get aggressive. Just make it clear that the Xianzhu Luofu has no intention of violating their rights. Okay. I'm on it. Let's go, baby! This is the report Jinju sent me. Let me take a look. Looks like the general has given me a tough challenge. It won't be to try and help put the eyepiece's mind at ease. Is some kind of test from the general? Well, it's not exactly a test. A Cloud Knight's officers, we not only learn the art of war and martial arts, but also occasionally have to handle diplomatic disputes. It's just, you know, talking things out isn't that straightforward as duking it out with weapons on the battlefield. This is especially true when you're up against the IPC with a non-stop corporate babble. Well, let's not worry about that for now. Shall I take you on to the inn? Take you to the inn, sorry. Let's go. After watching Yanqing and the others leave. Maybe I won't read everything out loud. I don't want to bore you guys. It seems general from the Zooming and Yanqing implies intentions beyond mere spectating. Ooh. Is there any instruction for the marshal? He opened his eyes! Oh my god! Uh, he's overthinking it, apparently. I don't know what the Yaoxing Arbiter General has in mind. Hmm. An Arbiter General's battlefield goes above the physical one, beyond. Okay. So there may be more, but they don't know about it. Living too long means that every mistake you made will lurk in the shadows, and one day they'll eventually catch up to you. Fair enough. Yeah, when you die, they, like, because we don't live that long, they just catch up to your children instead. That's much better. As for the Merlin's Claw, the Yaoxing, yes. She has come specifically for you? What? What does she want with him? 
That's ominous. They say she strikes like lightning. Being late isn't her style. She's been here a while. I'm sure you've heard of her unbridled nature. Yo, Yaoshi! Uh, no, Yaoshu! And Mosley! As soon as she disembarked from the Starskip, she mentioned having something to attend to and simply disappeared. You must be the messengers from the Shangshu Yaoxing, I assume. We are Yaoxing and Mose, retains of the Merlin's Claw. It's an honor to meet you in person, Arbiter Generals. Yo, he looks kinda good though. We'll have to skip him though, sadly. Now this is interesting. I guess what doesn't come to visit but send a message instead. What does she mean? Tell me, what could be more important to her than coming here? Master heard about a spectacular view of Skel in Skelgorge Waterscape. I believe she went there to enjoy it. Okay. Oh my god, they use sarcasm. It's incredibly effective. I was stating the truth. Master thought it would be inappropriate to keep you waiting. She sent us here. Okay. She'll come and apologize to the both of you. Okay, sure. In the meantime, inside the palace of Ostrom. I've got to ask her to return my sword. Um, I'll go get back for you. Not to bother, the shooting of voice won't be leaving the Luofu anytime soon. I'll for it later when we meet again. It seemed a little reserved, true. Ah, uh, the claw herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Merlin's claw. Oh, by the way, Kate, I might have some answer as to why the Merlin's claw doesn't have a tail. Uh, Fish Out doesn't have a tail. Anti Matter Legion. Why wouldn't they blame the victim? Hmm. Dancer's Rebellion and Fentalia schemes are merely one side of the story to the other Arbiter General of the Alliance. Only a single piece of incontrovertible evidence remains, creating an endless source of potential complications. Fair enough. Did I fix the bad part, by the way? I don't remember. Oh, I did. Okay, awesome. Once a spark of suspicion is kindled, it proves hard to extinguish. Um, no wonder we call back for the ceremony. I heard that the alchemist from the Xuming's diplomatic ship has arrived. Yes, that would be the lady, uh, Lingsha. Now I finally see the underlying tensions. The general is under tremendous pressure right now, but I was completely oblivious to his troubles. How naive of me. Yeah, I mean, you're like fucking 14. You're a real master of conversation. Miss Marsh is right. I don't have the skill to share the general's burdens at the moment. Still, I'll do my best to follow his instructions. Let's go. Once I've taken you to the recommendation, I need to go to the Arsene Shim Commission to handle the IPC's protest. We can accompany you. This is too much trouble. I appreciate your kindness. Dealing with the IPC worker could be tricky. I'm afraid this will cause trouble for the Express. You're a real master of conversation. <laughs> I keep saying the same thing to her, so she shut the fuck up. Yeah, um, are you being sarcastic? No! <laughs> Alright, uh, let me... Uh, oh, date bank. Do we have, uh, oh, the Creed Exqui. Exequi. Interesting that they add this now. Farewell, everyone. However, this is not the final goodbye. For all things shall reunite in some point at the imponderable end of the universe. The Creed Exequi, an elegy. The Creed Exequi is made of followers of Terminus scattered across the various corners of the universe. With regard to the finality, many refuse to speak of their existence, blinding themselves to the fact that they symbolize the end of the universe. However, the wiser among them believe that the aeon that moves against the flow of time represents the ticking down the, to the end of the universe and is reminding them of the meaning of existence. Before the destined end comes, those who breathe ignorant of impending ruin ought to live every second of their life to the fullest. To that end, the Creed Exequi walks a past reverse of those who flee from the apocalypse. Allow the latter, they worship the apocalypse and the ruin it brings, and yearn to witness its arrival. There they shall welcome their only encounter of the finality with open arm. Intriguing. 
and we have another two new terms, the Changzhou Yaoxing. The Changzhou Alliance is one of the six flagship of the Changzhou Alliance. It sails in the endless ocean of stars like a colossal sword, wiping out the open nation, ravaging the very stars' zones. Out of the six flagship, the Changzhou Yaoxing is known for its military prowess and has long been standing at the forefront of the most intense combat mission. Under the ferocious assault of the elite verdant knights of the Yaoxin, armed forces mainly comprised by functions, the army of abomination made up of Borisin and the like has finally been routed, with the numbers now on the decline. Despite earning a high reputation and respect within the lines due to their frequent reports of military victories, the, Yao the Zhangzhou Yaoxin is also the center of a heated debate. The Yaoxin has been closely cooperating with the Interstellar Peace Corporation for a long time in exchange for technology and supplies required for combat. They've annihilated countless open nation in many worlds, rendering many of them spoils of war in the credit system. It has led to many raising suspicions on whether the Changshu Yaoxin is indeed the Vanguard hunt, or whether it has become a warship of the preservation goes gone unnoticed. Ooh, interesting. Alright, the Zhu Ming is one of the six flagship of the Changshu Alliance. It sails in the endless ocean of stars like a tempered hammer, creating many marvels of weaponry for the Cloud Knights to use in battle. The Zhu Ming has been known for its exquisite craftsmanship and alchemy techniques since it first set sail during the primeval Imperium era. In the course of its voyage over the past 8,000 years, modifications have been constantly carried out on the Zhangzhu Zhu Ming, such that it no longer resembles how it originally looked. Regardless, the fire of innovation and knowledge burning the hearts of the craftsmen on board has never been extinguished. After the Flaming Catastrophe War, the Flint Emperor, predecessor of all Heliobai, was imprisoned within the Zhu Ming. While in captivity it fell into a deep slumber, craftsmen of the Zhu Ming then constructed the ring-shaped flame wheel forge around this creature of celestial levels of pure energy, drawing upon this source of infinite energy for their use. By now, the Zhu Ming has become the holy land of artisanship renowned throughout the stars. Its production engineering, it put, its production engineering technology reveling that of Plaid Skrulum and Pure Point has attracted countless people seeking to learn, and who have all returned home with an abundance of knowledge. Nice. Who is texting me? What do you want? I'm good. Random fucking friend request, dude. Holy crap. Uh, okay, options, option, option, sound. There it is. Alright, I'm actually gonna change my team. I know it's kind of silly, but I wanna go with my Firefly team. Because that way I can walk around as, as Kitty, as the, the Trailblazer. And uh, the immersion is insane. <laughs> Yo, Kate. I was telling you. I think you were FK, but I was. Uh, I was. I was. Um, I wanted to to let you know my thoughts on a certain topic. Um, I think I know why. Um, I mean, I've got some speculation regarding the reason why Fei Shao might not have a tail. Uh, so Fei Shao is that. Um, Fei Shao is that uh, Foxian, right? So the idea is that the Borisin, you know, like the, the wolf men we saw earlier, right? So they are abomination of the abundance, right? Um, and by that, it's like essentially they've been gifted by some power of uh, the Aeon of abundance in a manner of an, in a way or another, or at attain some of their power. And essentially they are a race uh, an existence and like they essentially they they, they have um, they kind of like went on conquest and like killed a bunch of people and enslaved a bunch of uh, people as well and then they do like a lot of um, they they have a pretty good intellect and they do a lot of um, genetical modification in species they capture and enslave and then they use them as soldiers in their front line force them to fight for them right um, and I think, uh, when I was fighting them earlier, it was saying how they had, like, the moon's rage state or whatever. And there was a little snippet about, um, about Merlin's Claw, about Fei Shao, I think. It said about how she was going to, she wasn't going to live long because of the a moon curse or whatever. So I think she probably was a slave to them at some point in time, and she was probably um, genetically genetically modified. We also know that the Borisin, because of the power of abundance, amongst other things, are also capable of like the, they have the strongest like regeneration abilities, uh, and they're also capable of changing potentially changing form. Um, so I think if she's been 
genetically modified by them, she might have some of their power. So either she's capable of hiding her tail, or due to the genetic the modification to her DNA, uh, she maybe just didn't have a tail or lost a tail due to that, uh, due to the curse essentially. So I think that's two reasons why she might not have it, or maybe as a Foxhound who's been enslaved, um, like as a mark they cut her tail or some shit like that. Uh, but yeah, I think that might be the reason why she doesn't have one, or at least it's not visible. Uh, now for Lingsha, I don't know, because Lingsha is supposed to be a Vigiarana, Vigiarada, I think. And um, the only other one that's currently playable at the very least is supposed to be Bailu. Uh, and she has those horn and tail, right? And she has some scale and stuff. But I, I don't know if all the Vigiarada, Vigiaranas are supposed to have tails. So I'm not sure why she has that. Obviously not the last one, that would like be extra sad. Yeah, true. That would suck. But like I could see that being possible because I mean, let's be real. People who enslave others, they're probably not a good person. So I mean, you can't count on them to not do atrocity shit, obviously. Uh, but I certainly hope not, because that sucks. Uh, so actually, let me see if I can find information regarding the Vijarana. I don't know where that would be. Factions? I don't know if I can find anything. Um... I didn't find it in this term, right? Yeah, it doesn't talk about different like races in the universe. Uh, but maybe if I check Bailu, we can find some information. I don't know, actually. Maybe it's only, like, the... Because, like, for example, he doesn't always have his tail and horn. So maybe it's only the Elder that have the tail and horn. Maybe the other only have some small... Uh, let me see. Star Rail V Diadera. There it is. They're, like, the long science, right? Are they the only two we know? They... Okay, the most telling and distinctive feature is their pointed sharp ears. Um... Yeah, I think they're not... They don't necessarily all have a tail. Yeah, those that, that do develop more draconic features, such as the horns and the tail, are generally referred to as High Elders. Yeah, so it's possible that... Uh, it's possible that, like, the other ones don't have those traits. Uh, so maybe Lingsha doesn't have a tail because she's not a High Elder of the Vijarana. Vijarada, sorry. Uh, but she does seem to have, like, some scales on her hands, right? I guess we'll see. Um, they mentioned her earlier, so we might meet her during the story. Which I'm looking forward to. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's go. Oh god, angry people. The toxic voice sounds familiar. Oh my god, that's the guy that used to be a fucking asshole with the Orum Alley and he tried to like bankrupt the people so he could like take over and make his fucking mega conglomerate. Uh, essentially, imagine this guy, like, he tried to, to make the place shit so he could, like, uh, buy the land, essentially, and make, like, a, a super big, like, uh, like, department store, essentially. I can handle your invisible ways. Uh, it's kind of cool, actually. I was thinking that I was going to be, like, annoyed to go back to the Lufu. But I'm happy about that. I actually really like getting, like, to new places and locking new areas in the previous planet we visited. I think that's really cool. I'm really looking forward to the prison. The prison really gave me, like, uh, Kung Fu Panda vibes. <laughs> that one prison? I mean, it's called a fucking Shackling prison. Just reminds me of uh, the tiger, like uh, being like chained up at the bottom of that massive fucking tower. Scott, what are you doing here? 
Why do I keep running into you? You staying at the Shangju, are you? What terrible luck! Why have you go with disaster on far behind? I heard to have Yanqing sort of trouble. What have you been up to today, by the way, Kate? Oh my god, it's, it is warm still, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit! Life's too hard. Oh my god, did you end up streaming? Try not to melt. Yeah, that's a mood and a half. Oh god. You stream super early? Nice you. What did you play? Weren't you kicked off the Luofu before? Why did you come back? Living my time? Fair enough. We're still doing Sonic Adventure 2 Randomizer. Oh, right, 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 right. Good times. I need to go pee. I think I need to put some water on my face because it's too hot.
Alright, I'm back, sorry for the wait. Oh my god, it's too hot! It's too... Okay, it's time. I'm taking off my shirt. I just can't. I just can't. This weather, it is the... I hate this weather! Biological tissue? What the fuck? Why is that guy such an annoying piece of shit? That guy is literally a Karen. Uh, I know a thing or two about convincing Scott. Yeah, we dealt with him before. I'm gonna beat him up. 100%. Sup, nerd? At the end of this negotiation, if your morale is higher than or equal to your opponents, it's considered a successful negotiation. Otherwise, it is deemed a failure. During the negotiation process, if either party's morale drops to zero, the negotiation immediately ends. Your negotiation choices will lead to different outcomes, which can either increase or decrease your morale. As you make choices, the negotiation progresses until the number of negotiation runs drops to zero, at which point the negotiation ends. Thank you for the lurk! Sleep well, and I'll see you later! Scott, you ever see my baseball bat? Sleep well, Sanat. Ooh, sleep well. During a negotiation turn, you can use negotiation strategies to apply various negotiation techniques to help you succeed. Uh, here you can view your opponent's information if you're unsure what to choose. Click to view. Alright, let's see. As I recall, this guy won't listen to reason can only be persuaded with intimidation, but he does seem to follow rules to some extent. Let's use that against him. Speaking of regulation, we have our own laws and regulation too! According to Article 4 of the Shanshu Alliance IPC trade consensus, the Alliance and IPC shall never infringe on each other's intellectual property rights. Emotional trigger, smoke and mirror. Skip this round of negotiation. Double the result of this round's negotiation. Okay. Make proposal from the legal perspective. Start by keeping feel uncomfortable. Use Yangshin's identity to intimate it. That sounds good. Back in Normally, you were dealing with civilian merchants where you could use the IPC's name to scare them. But it's time to clan nice loot and stand before you represent the will of Lofu's general and won't be intimidated by your words. Uh, of course, I'm sure we both want a peaceful resolution. Yeah, that's true. Uh, of course, I uh, want things to be resolved peacefully, but now we're getting stuck in rigid formalities here. Even if we set aside the secrecy of intellectual property, this prototype built by the Intelligence Guild are incredibly valuable beyond your wildest imagination. If anything goes wrong, you won't be able to pay for it even with your lives. Just keep the reason part and resort to Gundul violence. <laughs> Assure him that you will proceed with caution. The Skyfaring Commission can pay with com can pay compensation. You know what? I'm gonna... Return to the previous round. Nah, I'm gonna do smoke and mirror. Alright, we understand your position, but rules are rules and we can't bend them now. However, we'll note down your concerns and pass them on to management. We'll keep you updated on any development. Wow. That's a 101, uh... <laughs> It's like one on one, just like uh, like a uh, support technique. Yeah, yeah, we get it, no problem. Well, we'll do our best. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Besides, the cargo and the transport vessel belongs to the Intelligence Guild. If you want to inspect the cargo, shouldn't you at least call in a member of the Intelligence Guild to be present? <laughs> Show him your extensive connection. It's time to escalate the issue. Church of this according to Shanshu regulation, Church of Result this according to IPC regulation. I'm gonna show you my extensive connections. I'm pretty tired with Dr. Rachel from the Intelligence Guild. Almost like family, doesn't that make me practically a member of the Intelligence Guild too? What's all this nonsense? Even if you were married to him, you still can represent the Intelligence Guild. Man. We both need to follow the regulation, because that's how the IPC and the Jamju operates, right? As an IPC worker, I have to abide by its regulation. If I make an exception and allow you to inspect the cargo, it will spell disaster for me. I could return to the previous round of negotiation. Huh? Could you repeat that? I didn't quite hear you. Could you say it again? 
<laughs> um. We'll use the, the IPC regulation against him. Since the intelligence security of interest the cargo to the IPC for transportation, it's the IPC's responsibility to ensure its safety, right? Why would you need the member of the intelligence guild to be present? Let me tell you something. I stated in Article 17 of the IPC building mutual logistics department, which is what agreed with law, subsequent to the dispatch of good and during the transit, or is safe for those pertaining to responsibility to place all liability of the consigner. Damn, we got wrecked! We only protect the integrity of the goods and prevent anyone with ill intention from getting their hands on them. For example, as for whether the cargo itself was a secret, security threat to the destination, that's not our responsibility. It appears we have reached an area of your expertise, doesn't it? We both need to follow the regulation. Alright, let's fuck him up. Everyone has their own set of rules. Now that you're on their turf, shouldn't you follow their rules too? Yeah, I get it. I know I'm on the Jianzhu, but if I violate the IPC regulation, I'll be in deep trouble when I get back. Yeah, apparently we succeeded. Somehow. Well, you guys should know how to argue your case. Fine, I'll allow you to do the secret inspection. It's just that I need some time to sort things out. This is a big deal. Let me take to talk to headquarters first. Are you just only for time planning to leave the Jianzhu as soon as your ship is prepared to avoid the Skyfaring Commission's inspection? Well, IPC staff are from are free to come and go as long as they don't break any laws. Yeah, I got some insight there. Who are you again? Is that Lingsha? Is it gonna be Ling? <gasps> it's Lingsha! It's Lingsha! Just fucking go! Look at her! Doesn't she kinda look like a um? She kinda looks like an adult. Sparkle. Doesn't she? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lingsha, Cauldron Master and head of the Alchemy Commissions on the Lua Fu. Could she be? Yeah. She's a new cauldron master assigned. I mean, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> right? 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 Come on, that's her, 100%. <laughs> oh my god! That, that's crazy. Alright, I'm happy I posted the meme. I received a report from the Artisan Ship Commission about cargo containing samples of unknown organism. It said they needed help from the Alchemy Commission. I had nothing better to do, so I came myself. Man, she looks great though. Holy shit, look at her. It's fine, Mrs. Scott. If you really don't want your cargo to be inspected, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? How can you say that? Why are you being so nice all of a sudden? Well, since you're not going to check it, I'll take this crate and be on my way. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah, sure. Why should I object? Not only this sample, but all the goods on the transport ship are yours to keep. Like I said, we won't inspect them. Wait a minute! Well, that's more like it. If only the young displayed a more of reasonable attitude, we could have sidestepped the altercation just now. Our ship will leave in a few days or until the engines are repaired. Your ship can leave whenever you want, but I'm afraid I can't say the same for the cargo. According to the important export regulations signed between the Chanshu and IPC, all biological shipments can only leave the port when they have confirmed to be of no threats or when all biological activity expires. Since we can't determine if your shipment is safe for the environment, I guess we'll have to wait for its biological activity to expire. Let me check the previous cases. Normally, it will only take around 47 star calendar years. Only? <laughs> Forty-seven? Why is it a surprise? You're still young and full of energy. I'm pretty sure you'll live a few more decades. Have some confidence in yourself. Typical of a long life species. Your words are dripping with sarcasm. While you may not care about time, I do. I'll be demanding double compensation from the Skyfaring Commission for every minute wasted. 
Sure thing, Mrs. Cotts. You seem pretty confident that your career in life will last long enough to witness the victory unfold. Damn. Step aside, guys. Let them do the inspection. Like... But Mrs. Scott, I swear to God, if it's just like birds or some shit, I'm gonna be so mad. Come on, we're already in enough trouble. Just let him do the security inspection. And if you need, I can always grovel before the intelligence guild later. I'm just using my head for what's apparently good for, right? Thanks, bro. <laughs> but honestly, at least you're not as annoying as a woman. Bro, just do the inspection! <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I knew that would piss him off. He deserves it. This lady is really something else. Ooh. That's weird. What? 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 Okay. When allies inflicted with terror grip, attacking the caster of terror grip once can dispel terror grip. Okay. When terror grip ends, if the caster of terror grip is not attacked to dispel terror grip, then the affected ally will fall into the terrified state and being able to perform actions. Oh, I'm not with the team I was supposed to be with. Womp womp. That was a surprise. Yes, she, she summoned like a weird wand. I kind of like that. Uh, uh, we'll manage. Fuck it. Boom, baby. Holy casket. How ominous. <laughs> the Rima coming through? I right, problem fixed. A closing on opening casket. Were you seriously planning to leave this stuff unchecked as a dog for days? That was too dangerous. I had no idea about it. You must have accidentally triggered the cargo's defense program. I don't think trying to shift the blame is a wise choice. True. Catch his ears. Oh, shit. Sivis is doing some tabletop. That's new. That's fun. I uh, don't know what that thing suddenly started moving. I swear on the Amber Lord. Amber Lord! To the Skyfaring Commission! Skoto-san! You'll hear from me! And my dad! Don't you know who I am? Alright, sorry, I'm just shit posting. <laughs> Our preliminary inspection shows that there is indeed hidden biological tissues inside, just like the craftsman feared. I can't even tell if it's ingenium or biological nature. Huh. What do you say that? The core of this device is what they call wetware, an industry slang. To put it simply, this machine operates with a kind of biological nerves at its control center. Bruh. That does not sound good. I'll take some samples for the alchemist to analyze and figure out where the biological tissues comes from. 
I wouldn't tell them to kill you such an ethical technology. Perhaps they're trying to create a new weapon. Whatever the reason is, it's probably why the boys didn't attack the ship. Now, what if the IPC were trying to obstruct our inspection? It contacted the Ten Lord Commission and asked the judges to come and give their final verdict on this. According to our rules, all prisoners and weapons involving dangerous creatures must be taken to the Shackling Prison for further sentencing. After all, it's the safest place on the Luofu. As for you, Mr. Craftsman, please go with the Cloud Knights and explain the situation to the judge. After a while, everyone disperses and goes their own way. Huh. I had a feeling that the IPC members would cause trouble, but I didn't think they would be this tricky. Thanks for your help, Miss Lingsha. I should thank you for saving my life. Your sword skill were impressive taking down a big guy. I thought the general's retainers were all burly martial masters. Didn't expect Yang Xing to be so... Young? Cute? Cute? Mm hmm? Can't argue with that. As for you, you must be the guest from the Astro Express, right? Saving the Luofu from the crisis. It's so impressive. It was a big deal, really, Ubu. It's still early, so why don't we get some tea at the Alchemy Commissions? We can discuss your suggestions for revitalizing the commission. I'd be happy to accept your invitation. And you three are coming too, right? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! That'd be highly unlikely, especially with Jarlo having been cut off from the rest of the longest time. True. Had time! Oh yeah, change the team. I don't know why I have this team. It's weird. It's making me feel awkward. Man, can't wait for Gallagher to get power crack by power crack by Lingsha so I can remove him from my waifu team. Insane. Get the fuck away from me! You dead ass 13 years old. All this year and the view at the Alchemy Commission hasn't changed a bit. The ties come and go, but the ancient sea remains the same. For us Vijadara, there's nothing more nostalgic than our homeland. You're loof for native, Miss Lingsha. Yes, I grew up here listening to the sound of waves while researching prescription with my mentors and peers at the Alchemy Commission. Surprised that this uh, How You Never Made Afro may playable. Uh, yeah. I mean, I assume we're gonna get um, an adult May playable soon, uh, considering what's going on in part two. Um. Yeah, in part two, for a little moment, you were able to control her on the overworld. So I think they're probably going to make her playable. I mean, Terry is going to be playable next patch. Uh, so I think we're most likely going to get some... I mean, there's a list of characters we could get, like uh, Vita, for example. I feel like maybe next patch we'll get uh, Terry Terry. The patch after we'll get Vita. And maybe afterward we'll get some uh, adult characters. Uh, oh, actually, before that, we may get a, an adult Sealer or like an adult uh, Sarah or whatever her name is. Is it Sarah? I don't remember. The kid from the orphanage. Akron A? Nah, I think Mr. Dark Knight Pyromancy in Honkai Back 3rd, not in other games. The small head of the Fuha? Oh, Fushi! Yeah, definitely! Uh, but uh, actually, it's not true. Uh, that character is not either of those. Uh, this character is actually a character named Sparkle. I don't know if you if you know Sparkle, but that's actually Sparkle. Look at that. I've got proof right there. Isn't that Sparkle? 100%. It's the same photo! <laughs> it's the same photo! Literally sparkle! Insane! Just remove the makeup and decided to be an adult for a second. That's crazy. I, I saw through her facade. She ain't like she ain't getting me. No sorry. Thank you for the bad bad. The view here will be even better without the Ambrosial Harbor. Oh really? I think that towering tree looks pretty impressive. The days alive look alike? Nah. No. Did you know that all those characters are actually Ditos? Even if it's impressive, it's a plague mark. The Shanjo have been fighting abomination for thousands of years, and now that the Ambrosial Harbor has been reborn, it's only natural for everyone to feel uneasy. Well, once I see this planted, no matter how long it takes, it will eventually sprout and bear fruit. Hmm. In my humble opinion, the rebirth of the Ambrosial Harbor and the resurgence of the disciple of Sanctus Medicus were inevitable. 
The seed was already planted when the ancestors of the Xiangzhou sought immortality. Um, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought we were having we we're here to have some tea, but where's the tea? There's no tea here. The only thing I'm seeing is people spilling some. My bad. Well, since you went through the entire Ambrosial Harbor crisis firsthand, then hang on little Nyanqing, I'd like to discuss something with you. Nice costumes, by the way. Yeah, I just wanted to so to show some sisterhood with um, the lovely, lovely uh, Yuki that raided me earlier. So I decided to 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 show off my my succubus side. Ada, what would you like to discuss, Miss Lingxia? I was lucky enough to be chosen by the Alliance to come in and clean up all the old grime in the Alchemy Commission. Honestly, the Alchemy Commission is riddled with problems and has reached a point where fixing it seems impossible. I'm looking to remedy this problem but was wondering if you could provide any insights. Well, even though I'm a Vijayadaran like you, I'm not so just like my companions here. I can't really say much about a remedy, but I do have a piece of advice, Miss Lingsha. The Vijayarada at the Alchemy Commission of the Luofu have always been intricately connected. If you cannot distance yourself from these ties, Miss Lingsha, changing the situation within the Alchemy Commission may be quite challenging. I may not know much about politics, but I do know that the disciple of Sanctus Medicus have been operating within the Alchemy Commission for years. If you're determined to root them out, maybe you should discuss it with the general. I see. Thank you for your valuable insight. Ah, while the Lux arrow from the rainbow possesses unparalleled power to sever the Ambrosial Harbor, it can't sever mortals' desire to prolong their existence. I really like her. I, I, I can't wait to pull for her. She really reminds me of... um. Run, eh? Like, I mean, she's like... Her design is relatively simple, but she's so elegant. Just like how the Cloud Knights can eliminate the remnants of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, but are unable to calm the hearts and minds of the people within the Alchemy Commission. Our Shanjo forebears knew this well. And that's why they entrusted the duty of guarding the roots of the arbor to the Vijadara. However, the Vijadara are still only mortal beings. 30 years ago, my mentor served as Alchemy Commission's Cauldron Master. She recognized the emerging undercurrents and sought to cleanse the source of the disturbance. Unfortunately, even though she was skilled in the art of healing, she didn't understand the human heart or how to eliminate the sickness lurking within the depths of the Alchemy Commission. In the end, she was framed in exile to the Zhuming. I was also implicated in how to leave the Luofu. La la. And guess who arbitrated the case and handed down the sentence? None other than General Jing Yuan himself. W what? You heard it right. The ones responsible for the corruption in the Alchemy Commission are not just the remnant disciples of Sanctus Medicus, but even the Divine Foresight himself. Uh oh! Uh oh! Drum! <gasps> Fucking drama! Alas, why is your face turning pale, Ying Yangshin? Don't worry about it. I understand that when someone holds a position of power, they may sometimes have to make tough decisions. I won't hold any personal grudges against him. Besides, at our age, holding personal grudges is a luxury we can't afford. Sister Jessera, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome! Uh, Vila Koman. Hmm. <laughs> Lingsha, you're back. I've been waiting for ages. Hey, give me my sword back. The cat gremlin is back. Yunlin, why aren't you with your grandpa? What brings you to the Alchemy Commission? Well, let me take this opportunity to introduce you to Yangxing. Yeah, they know each other, alright. Ah, what a small world. You, you stole my sword. Give it back. I see. Let's give the introduction part then. Why do I keep bumping into you? Are you stalking me or something? Jesus. Of course not, unlike you, Miss Yunli. I have important things to take care of. You, on the other hand, seem to have all the time in the world to wander around without returning my sword. <laughs> Damn, the sass. Grandpa used to say I saw reflect this master. I talked to your sword. It told me that you've been distracted. You hesitate when you should strike and struggle to stay calm when your sword is not shitted. 
I mean, he did, he did get his eyes absolutely whooped by Jin Liu, so I understand being distracted, to be fair. I understand. I understand. When I see you again, I realize your sword was right. It wasn't me who took your sword, it was you who lost focus. Do you really expect me to believe that nonsense? I've been talking easy on you because you're a guest from the Zooming, but you're not taking the hint. Don't people from the Zooming know you're supposed to return what you've borrowed? Jesus! Just look at this flying sword, even if I give it back to you now, it will just be taken away again in a few hours. You know the Cloud Knight saying, a Cloud must never let sleep their weapon, yeah? Well, sure, I can give it back to you now, but on the battlefield, that's a whole different story. Poor flying sword. Fine, you don't have to give it back because I'll take it back myself. Oh, to be young at the whim of impulse. So, is this the war dance? <laughs> Between these two, why do you what do you think is tougher than Hang? Don't get me wrong, I'm just curious. I get ready to separate them. It is my first day at the Alchemy Commission. A brawl is definitely not how I imagined celebrating it. I'm hungry. This game is making me hungry. Because you only like berry pheasant skewers and it makes me want to eat some too. I didn't mean that way, since you already draw your sword, you'd be disappointed if you didn't get to test on one another, right? Get the food! No, it's too far! The food is too far! I want to stay here and have the food put in my mouth! Hell yeah! Lazy kitty! Lazy kitty wants the food right now! Give it to me! I've received reports that they'll near the Alchemy Commission are infected with inflammation. Some words is a live good man, so if you two want to determine who's better, why not focus on them instead of each other? I throw them in. I throw them to you like a cooked trick shot. Ayo. Yeah, I just have to open my mouth and wait for the food. Wait for the food to just be put there. Uh, there's an alchemy commission. Everything's going to shit essentially. Good times. Clearing up abomination? Boring! It's a clan duty to learn this abomination. You don't have to ask me twice, Miss Lingsha. I hope you get rid of them. Oh, you think you're the only one who knows how to behave? If Lingsha needs anything, I'll gladly draw my sword and help her out. So sweet and caring. Yeah, sure. Let's go! Trick shot time! I, I'll be the referee of the contest. You still didn't expect to making unpaid work sound so noble and grand. It's for your own good, little Yunli. Why you decide to compete against each other? I don't want to see either of you getting hurt. That's thoughtful of you, Cauldron Master. Insane. Are you ready? Holy shit! Alright, let's go. Looks like my predecessors lose quite a mess. The one who kills the most abomination within an hour wins. Be careful when you draw your sword and make sure you don't hurt each other. Can we start now? Damn. Ciao, being little boy boy. Um, when Yuli takes action, she will use attacks to defeat the enemy first. Uh, the number of enemies is recorded here. Okay. We don't have a healer in this team, but I don't think it's a big deal. Chinko. Surprise, mother lover! Ooh, everybody died. My bad. Uh, my bad. Oh, it counts for the the entire team counts toward uh beating Yunli. All good then. Boom! Wow! Ow! And the Rima coming through! Bop bop! Big sword! Jesus! Get him, team! Bonk. Oh, 
Okay. Angie Dogo. Wait, no, that's a monkey. Angie Monkey. It's showtime. It's showtime. Hello, love the model. Hey, Balu, how are you doing today? Yeah, it's a Sakabi City. It's been a redeem. Just got home from being in the heat and humidity, helping a friend move. Oh god. See, this is why I don't make friends. Because one day they might ask me to help them move. And I can't do that, dude. Fuck off. Ain't nobody got time for that, as they say. Getting out of an abusive household with the ex was out of town. That's good, though. That's not... I, I was just kidding, by the way. It's nice that you helped them out. I win, Miss Yunli. You got lucky. Why don't you just give me back my sword? Since I apologize and cry your eyes out to your grandpa. Consider yourself lucky that I'm not interested in your racist sword that I didn't have the nasty habit of snatching other people's weapons. All you did was chop down a few monsters. Don't get carried away with yourself. <laughs> if you think you can just take this sword from my hand, go ahead and try. Oh, so he does end up as a fight. Jesus Christ, what a bunch of babies. I mean, to be fair, Yuli is being kind of a prick, but also Yangshi is a fucking baby. <laughs> That's a sick animation, though. Oh my god, she just walked in and was like, okay, that's enough. She used two fingers. <laughs> oh, I need her. Well fought, my young friends. Oh, we're very both of you have short callings. One of you focuses on dodging and weaving, while the other relies on brute strength. Trying to take down targets with a single strike. Sometimes all you need is two fingers. Uh-uh. I'll take your entire elbow, thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, I would take her entire elbow. I mean, entire arm up to the elbow. Okay, I'm gonna shut the fuck up now. Where? Blah, 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 blah. Who are you? Me? I'm just a patient seeking medicine from the Alchemy Commission. A uh, passerby, if you will. Keshira? Who voices her? I need to know now. Facial voice actress JP. Mika Kokobatsu. That's random. She did the voice of Susumaru in Demon Slayer. She's the she's Maki Zenin. Is she in everything or is it just in the video game? Wait, that's crazy. Maki is so fucking awesome. I need to watch this guys and I've read in I've read I'm caught up with the manga, but I definitely need to to watch it now. She does the voice of Senti in Japanese in the Nikkei. That's so cool. She does some Claudia in Tower of Fantasy. She looks great, but I don't really care for Clou for Tower of Fantasy. Try nine characters. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't really know the other roles she does, but yeah, some characters, a few characters I do know. That's cool. Oh, she's Rebecca Blue Garden in Zero. Huh, I didn't accept, expect that. By the way, uh, Eden Zero gets one final chapter next week, I think. But then it's over. It might already be over, actually. I think this week was the last chapter. It wasn't that great. Mashima's work 
pretty similar to each other. They're okay. <gasps> She's the voice of Tsubuki Shirugane in Danganronpa V3. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Okay, I'm a happy cat. I thought I'd see my feel of impressive fight during the war dance, yet here I am, able to witness a remarkable fight at the Alchemy Commission of all places. Well, the Luofu is never short of surprises. However, I have a small suggestion for you. Why don't you settle this dispute fair and square in the war dance ring? That way you can resolve your differences with the proper jewel and put your grudges behind you. Grudges? N not at all. Yunlei and I are just sparring. I really hope she's hiding her tail because I want to see that tail, dude. I want. I need to see that fucking tail. Show me that tail! I'm so sad that she doesn't have a tail. It pisses me off, actually. Actually pissed off about the lack of tail. I need some tail in my life. I need some... Listen, I just need a tail. It is what it is. Sparring? You summon your flying sword and she swung your sword full strength. No grudges between you. <laughs> I don't believe it. Bike! I mean, um... And what brings you here? Uh, okay, it's time to go back to being a normal cat. Normal cat time! Normal cat time! Normal cat time! And there it is! And the tail is here. You know what? Because it's so hot, I'm going to put my, uh... My summer outfit. There it is. I feel better like this. Acron, yay! Black Swan, awesome! Firefly, my fandom! Fish out! I'm pretty much like this with all of those characters. I mean... With... No, actually, that's not true. Black Swan! No, you have a Black Swan. That's true. Not even Black Swan. I don't know who I'm like. I don't know with. I mean... Oh, no, I do know. Um... Lingsha to some extent. I feel like Lingsha, I'm the same level with... Uh, actually, I'm, I might be more Arara with um, Ranmei, but like... Uh, Sayonara, Pam. That girl. Her name escapes me today. She's just out of my brain. What's... I, I'm having a heat stroke and I can't remember what she's called. Not Sparkle. Sparkle is... Kafka, Kafka, there she is, Kafka, 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 bark, 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 bark. What brings you here, Lady Feishao? Have you finished your health consultation with the Dragon Lady? Feishao? Grandpa always talks about you. Creepy that you are... The Merlin's Claw, the Shanjo Yaoshin? Looks like I'm quite famous on the Shanjo Luofu, too. <laughs> Of course, everyone has heard of the Great General, known to all and unbeknown to none. Great General? Isn't that title a bit too narcissistic? I don't like it. Dame, dame! I heard there's a dozing general on the Lufu, so I came up with a humble nickname for myself, the Lacking General. Lacking worries, regrets, regrets, and rivals. That's not very humble, is it? Sounds much better, right? She's so... I like it. She's sassy. Yeah, that's so befitting title that sounds both humble and impressive. Now that the sparring session is over, Yanshin, Yunli, shouldn't you politely take thank General Feisha for her guidance and bury the hatchet? Here's your sword. Keep it safe. We might get taken away again. By the way, we haven't settled the score yet. I'll defeat you fair and square next time we fight. <laughs> I'm still a little baby. This is how she apologized? <laughs> Now I finally got my sword back, I should report to the seat of, seat of Divine Foresight. I take my leave, General Faisal. Okay, bye, nerd. Okay, now that the kids are gone, it's only waifus. We gotta have a good time. By the way, Miss Lingsha, if you've got some free time, I'd like to invite you to the seat of Divine Foresight for a chat with General Jingyuan. I think there's more to those personal grudges you mentioned earlier. Are we leaving too? No! Thanks for stepping in, Jolfei Shao. Otherwise, I'd have had to knock them out with incense. Not at all, just doing what you asked. How about we call it even as a payment for the Hilda Ladies' consultation? Sorry, but even a Joel needs to pay their bills. We don't do credit here. And let's not forget, we'd have been waiting decades for a gen to see Dragon Lady if it weren't for me. Well, you can always send a bill to the seat of Divine Foresight and say it for mentoring those kids. After all, it was quite the effort splitting them up. I nearly had to get tough. Yeah, I had to use two fingers. Shush! Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to find a spot and get some fresh air. Ah, she's so cool! 
a moment later, Fei Shao leisurely walks to the ancient seaside shore to visit to something. I didn't see what it was, and I don't care. Wahoo! <gasps> Xiao Shu, Mose! Back already, you made me jing you and wandered around for a few hours. So, what do you think? I'm a fog with closed eyes, and when I open them, I will murder people. It appears that the divine foresight is using this warden as a show of strength to convince everyone that the Luofu is prospering after the ambrosial harbor crisis. But I know you're going to say, but, right? But the influx of people attending the wardens is like a breeding ground for disorder and rumors. One wrong move and the Luofu could be in a world of chaos. The clown eyes on the street remain vigilant. So at the very least, General Jingyuan is aware of this. As for other matters, I'm unable to say. Ah, I'd prefer to be excused from future meetings with generals. I'm just a military healer, and now all of a sudden I'm thrust into the center stage of a cordial chat with two generals. My work doesn't lend itself to being in the limelight either. Just stop whining. At least you're in One Piece, right? <gasps> the One Piece is real! Insane! Before getting in touch with General Jingyuan, I want to put aside my assumption and see his momentum. That includes the overall bearing of the Cloud Knights on the streets, what people are saying, and how does it close to him behave. The might of an army dwells not within its parts, but within the force of its collective momentum. Recognizing this fact reveals a true measure of power. Thanks for enlightening me, General. A perfectly clear statement turned confusing thanks to your translation. You've made me lose where I was now. Anyway, this is how I operate in battle. So you might as well get used to it. Ah, you're treating General Jingyuan as your enemy. The longest serving general, the Jandru Lufu, do you think he have only a few enemies? Reading is hard, I'm, I'm tired, the heat is killing me, I can't survive this shit. You made a healer lady, yes? Could you show me the medicine she prescribed you? She couldn't do anything about my condition. No! She just told me to enjoy some tasty food. That's bad. Not even the famed healer could help. I fulfilled my promise and find a way to cure you. I actually found some leads. Really? Life and death, it's all predetermined. Upon starting my military career, I made a pledge that the rest of my life would be dedicated to being the Zhangzhou spearhead, hunting down the abomination of abundance until the end of my days. Damn. As long as I can fulfill that deep seated desire, I don't care how long I live. Will you ask if I view General Jingyuan as my enemy? No. My real enemy has always been myself. Relax a bit. Oh, I thank you for the lurk. I appreciate the support. Take care of yourself. See you later. What's for dinner tonight? Ah, you really know how to read the room, don't you? I'm so hungry. Can someone read the room and send me food? Insane. All right. A friend she hasn't seen in a long time. Who would that be? She's so awesome. She is awesome. Jesus Christ. She just calorie blocked her attack with ease, indeed. And mine too. The aura of Uri's and Grace. It also makes me want to learn Chandra's whole play. You think so too, right, Kitty? Yep, those moves were fabulous! I was talking about Yanshin, actually. Thanks for the kind of words, Miss March. The warden is coming up. I've been chosen to represent the Cloud Knights in the ceremony. I've had my fair shares of defeats lately, and I haven't thought I know there are always more skilled swordmasters out there. Seeing General Fei Shao's skill today has made me feel a bit uneasy again. Yeah, he has a, a lot of uh, self esteem issues lately. The grown up games, womp womp. I'm so hungry. I even took the time to eat some soup before, like, 
the stream, but I'm still hungry. I'm gonna see if I can find like something to numb on real quick, and I'll be right back. Man, I hate this fucking weather. I swear to god. It really is the worst shit. Welcome back. Thanks, Kate. I'm actually, um... Let me see. What's it called? Sword? I'm checking, um... It should go live in 15 minutes, I think. Although, I might actually do some rerolls. I think they have get they intend to have guest accounts, so I might end up doing rerolls because I'm a sussy backer. Yeah, this is supposed to be in like two hours or something. Although, I don't know if you can have a guest account, actually. Is there no guest account for this game? I don't know. I'll figure it out. But yeah, it looks good. I'm looking forward to it. It should be very, very soon. Anyway, I'm getting uh, sidetracked by the internet. Alright, I want to go uh, to over there. Oh, I can actually teleport there. That's cool. Uh, it's too hot. I know I keep complaining and I'm sorry, but it just sucks. It kills me. Like, the, the warm weather actually, like, sucks the life out of me. I swear to God. It is awful. It really is awful. Tomorrow, I might stream late as well. I might have a dinner with a friend to just like chill. I need to... 
Let me see the weather forecast. Weather forecast. Yeah, it seems to be going back down afterward, thankfully, Jesus Christ. I mean, the problem is that right now, if I want to cool the apartment, I would need to open the... ...the blind, but I don't want to let, like, bugs in, essentially, that's the problem. Also, maybe is it a big deal if I let bugs in? Yeah, no, fuck bugs. No, no, no. I'm not having any bugs inside. I don't care if it's too hot. Between the warm weather and bugs, I'd rather have the warm weather and fucking die from a heat stroke rather than I get fucking bitten by mosquitoes. Fuck that shit. I think I do think it's the lesser of two evil. <laughs> Mm. So essentially, there's like a lot of um, hidden politics going on because of the previous crisis. A lot of people are maybe casting doubt over what's going on on the Shanjo So uh, they're kind of trying to revitalize the place and show like a... make a show of uh, like, you know, strength and stability by holding the the commemorative events like the War Dance Festival. Uh, but yeah, th they're clearly under a lot of scrutiny right now. And uh, because there were some uh, members of the Medicus, like a battle organization, organization infiltrated inside the Alchemy Commission, some people are doubting their loyalty, his loyalty.今回剣木の災いの天末について探るために派遣されてきたのは。いや、それは私もだ。この the Marsh is well aware of Jingran's purpose in holding the ceremony and understand the situation he's facing. She mentioned it because she believes both issues are important. Hmm. By introducing the express's witness to me alone, aren't you aiming to discern the intentions behind both my actions and Fei Shao's? And whether there is any discord between us? Since I'm being open and honest with you, I encourage you young folk to do the same. As for the imposal arbor crisis allowing you to do is listen, Zhang Fei Shao will be the one asking the questions. To be honest, I'm more concerned about the timely start of the war dance. I prepared a gift for the war dance. Oh, a gift? What's a gift tea? Is it gonna be a sword? Are we gonna? Is it the sword that uh, the, 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 the March 7 is gonna use? The case gleams with a muted luster, crafted from a material neither wood nor metal. Its surface is masterfully woven with metallic threads, outlining an intricate pattern of lotus flowers. There will be a lot of uh, fight. The host will dispatch a skilled warrior to take on challenges from all over the cosmos, showcasing the excellent martial arts of the Shonjo Luofu. When I mentioned that the Astro Express will be attending the ceremony, I thought the High Elder of the Luofu would be the ringmaster. You hear me, Elder Huayan. The healer lady is just a young lady who knows nothing about martial arts. How can I see her as the ringmaster? I have no match for you when it comes to joke. What's this box for? Why don't you open it, General Huayan? The sword case is intended for the Warden's award. It's empty now, but in a few days, a precious sword will be delivered and stored inside. I don't mean to boast about our skills, but this sword represents the pinnacle of the Xu Ming's craftsmanship. It has a legendary history. 
For the fairy tale of him for a lens. Ah, so it, this is the reward. Like the people who win the war, the war dance festival gets a sword. I can award it to the champion. There it is. If you want to give me the sword to say the word, Grandpa, don't need to beat around the bush. <laughs> such a gremlin. Grandpa, you don't have to make me go through a, a tournament if you just wanted to get me a gift. How roundabout of you, Mr. Grandpa. I know you're all about sword, Miss Yunli. It's just a shame that the sword that ultimately chooses its rightful old master. Oh my god, they're such burnt. <sighs> they're so stupid. Nobody knows who's gonna come out on top. It could be me, it could be someone else. Probably be me, but whatever happens, it won't be him. <laughs> She's so petty. <laughs> uh, it will be either death or disaster when these two clash. Looks like Fisher was right, indeed. Not to be rude or anything, but we've been watching that drama. I'm dying to find out who be true. Kids will be kids for real. I've read this sword to add some excitement to the ceremony, not to have you two squabble. It's not a good look for the alliance. While you both seem confident that you win, you need to remember that it can only be one winner and one loser in the ring, which could lead to hard feelings. I actually have an idea. We don't know who the winner will be, and it might not be either of you, but if you're eyeing the prize, you'll need to work together. I want to take on the princess who will take part in the war dance and win at least one match. How does that make sense? Well, the Cloud Knight is commendable by securing victory, it's even more so to pass on your skill and spread the way of soul play. It's time! It'd be greatly pleased if he's a prince who could represent the Hexprize in the Warden by displaying the Cloud Knight flair and prowess. Quite interesting idea. Indeed, it's time for Mart 7! Oh. We'll start that tomorrow, though. Whom should the two of them take on as an apprentice? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, me? I noticed just now that Miss Mart seemed quite interested in the outcome of your sword fight, so I thought why not teach her the art of sword play? Huh? Wait, are you serious, Jiro? Why am I being dragged into this all of a sudden? I've never practiced sword play before, I'm told you be. That'd be so embarrassing! Just that your fate, March. Isn't this a perfect chance for you? I remember you mentioned that you wanted to learn some sword moves. I did say that, but it's still happening so quickly, don't you think? Which Marge is like a piece of jade in the rough, just waiting to be shaped. The Wardens is the perfect opportunity to see what height she can reach. I wish you can worse, Jill Hoayan, but won't teaching me sword play be a waste of Yanqing and Yulin's time? They should be preparing for the ceremony. But here they each sword master has their own special moves. What if they let something sleep while teaching me? Everyone knows each other's tactics, won't that make it hard to catch people off guard during the war dance? Uh, okay. Her curiosity has been piqued. True. Time to make some new memories, March. I haven't graduated it yet. How can I be qualified to teach soul play to others? So you're meeting your defeat, huh? If you're not even confident to teach, why don't you let me be the ringmaster instead? Jesus Christ. <sighs> Time for you to become the best sword master on the express. True. At least that's why I won't have to worry about you accidentally shooting me in the butt all the time. <laughs> I've never missed my target. So rude. I'm on board. Hell yeah. Some sword practice equipment for Miss March. Think of it as a little initiation gift. You're too kind. Give me gift? Should it be the other way around? That's so cool. Smiling silently. Soon the parts of Divine Force out with Yunli in tow. Why does something feel off about what we talked about? You got pranked, nerd. They want us to seek around the Louvre for some time. We're not different from all the other tourists who may leave at any time. Since the cruise action were mentioned in the Louvre was operation log were given to the Alliance, he probably wants to see first hand if we're careful as the report claims. Or if we just uh, some made-up excuse to save face. 
He wants to see for himself during the war dance, which is why he even dragged Yunli into this. But because it's a simple contest between two sword master has now advantage you two collaborating to mental march. Hmm, very tricky man indeed. Uh, I invited you because I wanted you to act as my witnesses. I apologize for disclosing this information earlier, fair enough. I also invited you to a meeting uh, with General Feishao. You may need to answer questions and clear up any doubts you might have, so please be prepared for the meeting. No worries. Yeah, but... The word General, no matter what happens, I'm prepared to stay here as the express witness and answer any questions. Thank you, everyone. There's not much I can do to share your burden, bruh. Hmm? Hmm? What do you want, little b -b 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 boy? I won't let anyone defeat me in the war dance. I know. And I don't care. In Orm Alley, Feishao meets with her old comrade in arms who she hasn't seen. It was you, Kong! I was wondering if it was gonna be her. It's been a while. You Kong. Third year. Back then, you were the vanguard of the Aoshin Verdant Knight who was a part of Lufu's Rainbow Orbit Fleet. But I thought that upon meeting again, you'd be a general and have been fun of flying. Who does feel like a lifetime ago? Indubitably. How's your health? Still stable, I suppose. The medic who saved me in battle. Was it Pichu? Kashu? Oh, Jiaoshio. Retainer and personal healer. Managing my condition, that's why still, she's still in good health. Okay. So he's keeping her stable. And he just keep trying to find a, a cure. Orders from the marshal. The harvest of the frightened elders will lurk behind the scene. They fear the resurgence of abomination, which, much like what happened 30 years ago. But that report from the Lua will explain all the details. We don't know if the Rune Le Legion really invaded or how exactly the Saron Hunter and the Israel Space became involved. This puzzle has many missing pieces. As you know, the fugitive Jing Liu, who mysteriously disappeared many years ago, has resurfaced. resurfaced. This time she has brought along an Aunt Walder and a coffin, claiming to offer the marshals a message to fight against the Eon. The Lua for Perceptor has also leveled accusation against Jing Wan for neglecting the alliance. His principles, she asserts that King Yuan enabled the exiled in Bibito Luna to reinter the Luofu, thereby unlocking the lunar recent deaths within the Skull Gorge waterscapes, which in turn disrupted the Vijayadara's dutiful watch over the Imperial Arbor. It is for this reason I have come here to the Luofu today, Jesus Christ! Did you cause? Perhaps I shouldn't have mentioned all this to an uninvolved person, but since we once fought together, I didn't want to keep you in the dark. Perhaps pretending you didn't hear any of this would be for the best. Okay. Well, you know how I am. The Lua has enjoyed centuries of stability since the end of the edition of Imperial Luna, much of which can be attributed to General Jingran's masterful search rising. Okay. Hmm. To visit Hulai. Who's Hulai? Oh, that's Hulai! Okay, you mean that Hulai, the boy is in the warhead. The same Hulai was been imprisoned in the Shakun prison for over seven centuries. The nemesis of the function. Never be forgiven and shall be imprisoned till the end of the cosmos. Damn. Uh, the Fox and the Alliance made a pact to combat the abomination, aiming to achieve justice and free their kin. The werewolf monster is to be forever imprisoned in the dark recesses of the Shaking prison, facing unending retribution. Given the situation of the Luofu, those of the Yaoxing are concerned about who lays imprisonment. I'm afraid that routine visits every century is no longer sufficient to ease their concerns. That's why I was sent here to reassure them. Makes sense. It's all bad news, indeed. Silver lining? But she found some clues. I assume that's gonna be clues about uh, Tingyun. What? The Red Knight followed the route you mentioned and discovered the wreckage of the whistling flame ship. Unfortunately, there were no survivors and no cargo. Someone had already been on the scene before we arrived. You neither. Have you heard a person named Rune Mei? Rune Mei?
Ruin May got there first? Um. Okay. I assume this is about Ting Yun, but uh. The Niger was listening for uh, day two. Okay. I'm still feeling EP. They have slept at the match in Uh, yeah, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll deep dive uh, finally into the, the events and all the good good. It's gonna be a good time. Whew. Yesterday I did a little bit of uh, HSR, but we didn't go super far today. We want to do some more of the story and hopefully start doing the event, right? For uh, March 7th. Um, new path and all the good good. I need to move my mic. Hey, Flemma, what's up? Yeah, I, I need to fix this up at some point. All right, I'll figure it out. Uh, there you are, Kitty. I'm here. Uh, what kind of master waits on their apprentice's doorstep? Was a promise to General Huayan. After all, I woke up especially early so I could start teaching me smart swordplay. Hell yeah. Huh? Why are you blushing, Master Yanjin? You finished 2.4? Hell yeah. This is the first time someone has called me master. I need to get used to it. Wow, Senna! Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Damn! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate the support. Let me make it clear. Soul play training is about improving your body, mind, and strength. It's not a casual game you can master overnight. I promised General Huayan that I teach you Cloud Knight soul play so you can participate in the war dance and defeat at least one opponent. I'll do my best, but if you break your master's rules. Marsh is always a good girl. Fine, a promise is a promise. Since I promised you to study hard, I'll do my best starting today. She's always a good girl, hell yeah. Great, that's the spirit. Marsh is in your hands now, Yanqing. Don't be too easy on her. Then Hang, do you even have a heart? Did you lose it somewhere? By the way, where's Yunli? I found a great spot in the back garden of the Palace of Astron for our first lesson together. March 7th waves to you and Dan Hang and Barky, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's go! Oh, we get to play as March 7th. That's cool. I mean, her POV. Seriously, it's the first day and you're already late. Why is everyone the Lufu so laid back? So disappointing. Jesus Christ. Master Yunli, you're already here. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Wait, where are you trying to teach her in secret? That's sneaky. I'm just showing you what Lufu Etiquette is all about. She might be my apprentice, but it's customary for the master to personally escort their apprentice to the place of learning. As the host, I'll be teaching Miss Marjorie a sense of Lufu soul play, after which she'll emerge victorious in the war and ring. You won't be complaining about Lufu soul play then. Since I rookie, let me show you how we zooming sword master treat their apprentices. Quickly, over here, Miss March. This is a reverse mentorship gift from me to you. I hope you put it to good use. What's this? Shanjo clothing? It's so beautiful! Sword practice requires precise movements. This outfit is tailored to fit perfectly and allow for smooth movements. I've even added some small accessories. I put a lot of thought into it. You're awesome, Master Yunli! See? See? How can you compete with me? I'll teach my servants the essence of Zooming Swordplay, so she can win the contest with my sword skills. Actually, I've prepared something too. Huh? You have a gift for me too, Master Yanji? Since you want to learn Swordplay, Miss March, you'll need suitable weapons. So I went out of my way to prepare a pair of swords overnight. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to ask a craftsman to customize the sword for you, but I did my best to choose one that looks nice and are suitable for a beginner. I hope you like them, Miss March. Ah, it's so cute. Thank you, Master Yanqing. But you didn't see that coming, did you, Yunli? Hmm. The real competition is just getting started. Damn. I'm so lucky to have two great masters, but why does he feel like things are getting a bit weird? Moments later, killing each other. Ah, uh, let's go! So, what do you think, masters? Does this outfit suit me? Perfect. I chose it carefully. It's perfect for beautiful young swordswomen like you and me. Alright, uh, let's get started with the training. The person next to me is a Cloud Knight instructor I've brought in. For your first lesson, try to change a couple of moves with him. 
Wait, we have your actual combat training for the first lesson? Isn't that a bit too intense? Well, I heard you have some experience with archery and martial arts. The first thing we're going to do is see just how strong your fundamentals are. Come on, step forward and strike with the sword in the most natural way you can think of. It's important for us to grasp your natural movement so we can decide where to start and what you need to learn. Oh boy. If you're ready, let's begin! Uh, <laughs> okay... Kitty had a lot of coffee. I didn't drink any coffee, actually. Well, um, okay, that's a, a repeat. Let's go. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready, but please go easy on me. Then apologize in advance, please march. No rush, Miss March. You're still inexperienced with the sword. Why don't you use your skill first and learn a few moves from me? Understood. Uh, now I'll ask Mr. Yangshin to teach me some moves. <laughs> the poor Betty is so funny. <laughs> Shifu attack and accumulate charge from March 7th and make her realize powerful abilities. Alright. Ignore him, strength is everything. Jesus Christ. I think this guy. Um... Well done! <laughs> hmm, single target. I'll have Yanshin actually. Much quest is not long. Alright. Insane counter. Started to get the hang of it. Hell yeah, baby. Get him. Wakata! Oh, she's so cute. Uh, big counter! Oh, baby, let's go! Bleh. <laughs> oh man, that attack is so funny. Mark 7 is very SP positive, huh? That's pretty cool. Man, she's so cute. Damn! Insane! Bop bop! Yeah, I can see that from out. I didn't expect the first lesson to be so intense. Miss March has quick hands and a flexible body. She's a perfect fit for practicing Luofu swordplay. However, she lacks strength and her strikes were a bit unfocused. But don't worry, that's all you know more for beginners. Once she starts practicing Juming swordplay, she'll make a keeps in progress. Given the situation, I believe Miss March will start by working on her footwork, her strength, them. Seriously, do you actually know anything about swordplay or what? I could ask you the same thing. Dual sword requires agility, so what's more important than footwork? Instead of focusing on our strengths, we should address our weaknesses. The drawback of fielding two swords is not generating enough force, but good is being quick on your feet if you don't have strength. It's not like we're dancing here. Skilled sword masters knows how to play to their strengths and work on their weaknesses. Start with what you're good at and tackle your weaknesses. That's the right way to learn. Hmm, you're quite a theorist, huh? Theorist, you claim to be able to talk to swords, so what does that make you, a lunatic? Uh, it's only my first lesson. You already are arguing. Come on, calm down, masters. How to improve both my footwork and strength anyway? It doesn't matter which one's gone first. It does matter! Just listen to me! <laughs> Thus begins the journey of March 7 sword training. Womp womp. Where did the thingy I was looking for fell? It just bounced somewhere. Like, implausible. Yay!
new parcel, Zanto. Switch D. Yeah, yeah. The Pachu Hofu the Hanto, the Pasu the Hanto. I actually don't know. I mean, I can always use the cruise thingy, right? Probably. Um. Or, or, or. I do have sword play. Each time the warrior hits the same target, damage dealt increased by six per second, which is fifth time. The will be dispelled when the warrior change targets. Huh. That's kind of cool. I need to level it up. But I can also use this. 18% uh, crit rate. Uh, while the warrior is in battle, for every 10 speed that exceeds 100, increase damage dealt by basic attack and skill by 6%. At the same time, increase the crit damage of ultimate by 12%. This is pretty good! That does mention it like 160 speed though, that's a bit too much, right? But I think she can probably do it either way. Yeah, I think that works. I'll take that. I'm not using Silly re recently. I can always switch between the two anyway. Okay, so we have that. She's level 80. Lovely. Treasures. I'll need to farm those. We'll get there. We'll get there. Relics wise. Um... Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Which is nice to have a character that can actually use this properly. Or like, that's like their best in slot. Speed. I mean, I assume she just wants like a lot of speed and like just crit. The usual. El usual. Do I want to go crit or break effect though is the question, right? Hmm... One more time. Uh, I'll switch between the two depending on, yeah, but like right now I want to pick one set and go for the set. Um, uh, I mean, I feel like either way... Either way... <sighs> if I play her... You want to go for 146 speed? Oh, for Talia? Isn't it 145? Pretty sure it's 145. Um... No? I'm pretty sure it's 145! Oh, you want 146 for the 160? Ah, I thought you meant for Talia. Because Talia is literally 145. So you meant you want 146 to have 160. I thought you were counting like you wanted 133 to get 145. Uh, okay, so I'm thinking. Uh, I mean, this one is like 6 speed and 9 crit rate, which is pretty good. It's probably the best I have here. Speed crit rate... Yeah, we'll go with this. I don't know why... Why did... Why was that, like, not locked? It's good. That's less good. Still, that's fine. Okay. Um, 
break effects, crit damage, crit rates, break effect. Maybe I'll keep this. Crit damage, effect res, crit rate, break effect. Ayo. Attack speed. Ooh. Attack, crit damage, break effect. Yo. Imagine if this gets like crit rate. Ugh, oh, too bad. Uh, I feel like she doesn't need... Oh, you want for the silly light code. Uh, fair enough. I mean, I, I feel like while it's good, I don't think you need to go for 160 speed for just for the light code. I mean, you don't need to get all five, uh, all six stacks, sorry. But if you want to, that's perfectly fine. Uh, where's the set? There it is. Mm, speed, nothing really good. Speed, nothing good. Attack, Jesus Christ, do I really not have it? Man, I have fucking nothing good here. How is that possible? I mean, I guess an attack boots. Crit damage, break effect. Might ditch the ER rope. Oh, I think, yeah. And do what you want. Uh, imaginary or attack? Oh, imaginary. Attack, crit damage. Two dead stats, though. And the rest is pretty bad. Quantum. I think I'm... I can keep this one. I can lock it up. Attack with a little bit of crit rate. Or imaginary. Effective threat effect res defense. HP defense crit rate. Alright. Ooh, crit rate. All right, let's see, just uh, let's take this one for now. Here, um, attack. A bit of crit rate and break effect. I'll probably go with this. Um, as for here. Let me see. Musketeer of the Wild Wit. Crit damage, crit rate, speed attack. That's pretty good. Um, crit damage, crit rate. Ooh. Crit damage, crit rate. Let's see this one. I don't even have a half decent attack rope. Oof. That's rough, buddy. Oh, twice in defense. That's rough. What about this one? Alright, crit. That's only one good stat, though. I think I'll just go with this one. Gloves. Uh, crit damage. Crit damage, break effect, attack. Crit rate, break effect. Crit rate, break effect. Attack, speed, effective rate. Alright, let's try some things. HP flat. Give me crit damage. Attack percentage. That's decent, I guess. Alright. What do I have at the moment? I mean, all things considered, this is pretty good. I mean, obviously, that's not good enough, but still. Uh, so, crit rates... So anything with crit rate here. Hey, Wandering Soul, what's up? Crit rates, 
Um, attack speed, not this one. Not this one. Crit rate, break effect, HP. Crit rate, break effect, attack. Uh, yeah, this one probably. More crit rate, insane. Yeah, no, don't worry. I just don't have a crit rate body. Don't, don't worry about it. How's Handbar treating you so far? I just got her. So she's not really treating me anything. La da da. I mean, yeah, I guess I'll just go with this anyway. All right, give me some crit right, baby. Ooh, that's rough. All right. Uh, for now, this will do. We got a bit of crit rate. That's fine. Uh, obviously, we want some better stuff. Here, that could get some crit rate. I need decent boots. Like that's These boots don't even have a single good substat. Um, here, getting crit rate body could be better. Um, this one I can probably get to level 15. Now... What's the lore behind Martha being able to switch paths on a whim? Oh, she's just learning about it. It has nothing to do in terms of lore. It's literally in terms of ability. It's not like she's following the path of, uh, of uh, Hunt now. Game uh, the, the gameplay path doesn't seem to have anything with the, the, the Aeon path in terms of story. Ooh, more crit rate. Insane. Alright, so I'm gonna need a better body piece and obviously better boots. Well, better body piece is actually... it's debatable. This one's... Ah, oh man, two in HP is pretty rough though. I mean, that's only two speed, but the attack is pretty good too. Let's see if this one, like, if it goes into crit again, maybe. She can now have fun. Okay, it's really the... You need to tell me what you mean. Do you mean in terms of story? Okay, do you mean why is she using sword in terms of the in-game story? Or why she's of the hunt? If you, t if you speak of, like, hunt and preservation, it doesn't mean anything, okay? Just because she was preservation before didn't mean she believed in Klippos. Just because she can be hunt now doesn't mean that she believes in Lan, okay? So, the path itself, in terms of gameplay, has no repercussion whatsoever in terms of the story. If you're talking about why she's using sword... It's because uh, she's being taught by Yanqin and Yunli so she can participate in the tournament, the War Dance Festival. That's pretty much it. We did get some crit right here. Why does she use a sword? I, I just told you. Uh, it's a War Dance Festival, so it's about sword mastery. I had to ask you the difference between what you wanted to ask specifically because some people would be asking for the path itself. Like, they would be wondering, like, you know how, like, for example, Black Swan, right? She's a Neolithic character, but she doesn't follow the Neolithic. She follows uh, Remembrance. Uh, I'm missing. I'm still missing like five percent crit right here, but I mean that's just because my boots have are bad, right? 
And obviously, I could have more crit damage. It is what it is. Uh, but we'll get there. Defense. Ah, it's okay. Alright. Dear Himiko, Miss Yang and Pam Pam, we all good here on the Chang Luofu. No need to worry. By the way, how's your trip going? <laughs> She's eating the berry pheasant. <laughs> Screw it again. Uh, so we have somehow become the apprentice to two Cloud Knight Swordmasters. I've been honing my sword skills with their guidance. One of them is Yanqing, the boy we've all met before. The other is Yunli, uh, the granddaughter of the general Huayan from the Zhangzhou Zhuming. Both masters are super strict, giving me a real taste of how hard sword training can be. I tried to drag Kitty into this, but she refused. Then I tried to rope Dan Hang in, but Master Yangxing wouldn't have it. Still, I didn't let the difficulty get to me. In just a few weeks, my sword skills have improved a lot. Both my masters think I have unique talents in sword play and are literally fighting each other to teach me their skills. Thanks to their guidance, I've actually made some progress. When I get back to the Express, I'll definitely show off my skills and impress you all. Looking forward to your reply. Yours, March 7. Days and night fly by in the delve as the Warden's fast approaches. Under the strict supervision of her true masters, March 7 strained tirelessly, almost developing tennis elbow. If I was to pick a star well path, uh, nearly T. On that day after the sword training. Well done, let's call it a day. What about you? Miss Mart's sword skills are coming, really coming along. She'll hold her own just fine in the war dance. Um, uh, uh, maybe I have a chance of defeating my masters. <laughs> it was a joke! Get real, you've only been practicing for a short while. How could that possibly happen? With your talent, Miss March, if you dedicate a few more decades to training, you might eventually be able to defeat Yunli. Bah. Decades? But I'll be an old lady by then. No. No. <laughs> Can you believe it? March 7 has actually become a pretty decent sword master in such a short time. Now it's not why Grandpa always had a grin on his face while training me. Are you sure I wasn't laughing at you? Shut up. Damn. It's all thanks to your amazing guidance, Masters. Miss March, you're really getting the hang of wielding dual swords. If you're keen on advancing, trying out different Janjo blades could improve your touch. You don't actually play the game, so you can't answer. That's fair. Hey, Violet of a Garden, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Let me see, which sword is the most powerful? Single sword? Great sword? Maybe a flying sword? There's no such thing as the most powerful sword. It's all about the skill of the sword master. Yanqing wields several flying swords. Well, only will one. But remember how I kicked his butt at the alchemy commission? First, you didn't kick my butt. Second, you'll never kick my butt. Third, how about we sell this right now and see who kicks whose butt? Yeah, I'm up for that. And if I kick your butt, you'll drop out of the war and steal. <laughs> Mart is like, fucking kill me. What I'm playing in Japanese, yeah. Why are you two arguing again? I thought things have been improving between you lately. <laughs> there was talk that the leading disciples of the Luofu and Zhuming generals were supposed to face off in this war dance. But for some reason, they suddenly teamed up to train apprentices of their own. Turns out the rumors are true. What you want, Zhao Xiao? Tomorrow is the big day of the war dance. Shouldn't you two be focusing on the honing with skills instead of teaching swordplay here? You're, um... Uh, you're... That's right, you're the pink-haired fox from the Yao Xing. Pink-haired fox? True. This is Mr. Zhao Xiu. The healer working for general of Zhang Zhu Yao Xing. Ah, got it. So you're the participant attending the war dance on behalf of the Yao Xing. You were trying to sneak a peek at our training. Sorry for the misunderstanding. I don't know anything about martial arts. I'm just here on the general's orders to take care of some official business. I didn't mean to interrupt your training. I'll be on my way. If you know nothing about martial arts, why were you smirking earlier? 
Well, my curiosity got the better of me, I suppose. When I heard Miss March pondering about what to learn, I couldn't help but wander over. From my professional experience, cleavers, slicers, chopping knives, and carving knives are all just tools. Kind of like frying, sautéing, boiling, and deep frying in cooking. There's just ways for people to show off their skills. How you use them really depends on the ingredients you're working with. It's like your sword teaching method. If you align your ingredients, in other words, your apprentice's natural tendencies with the right cooking method, by which I mean the teaching method that best suits her, she'll make double the progress in half the time. For example, golden eggplant tastes best when fried, cloud peppers when stir-fried, and yellow boulder beef when simmered. It's all about discovering the nature of the ingredients. Uh, I mean, apprentice. I'm getting hungry. All this talk about food is making me hungry. Aren't you a healer? Why are you talking about food? Well, it's just a metaphor. The medicine school I follow, the Shanshu Yaoshi, is called the Ranji School, that specializes in food therapy. So it's only natural that I know a thing or two about cooking. So you do generals cook? <clears throat> I'm a healer. But anyway, a cook who isn't interested in health doesn't make for a good advisor. Fine, call me a cook if you want. Seeing the way you're looking at me, it's obvious you think I'm just some feeble academic who likes to blabber on about martial arts. But in reality, I know a thing or two about killing. After all, the art of healing inherently encompasses both life and death. Seems like you just got offended. Trying to save face in front of kids? Uh, do you recognize this bottle of medicine on my hand? No. This is called tumble dust, an extract from an exotic flower named Yabra. Yabra! It's Yabra! Is it poison? Well, it depends on how it's used. With just one drop, it's able to numb a patient's body during surgery, making them painless throughout the entire process. However, increase the dose of the potency and they'll slow the metabolism, making the blood thin and result in the loss of all senses. Even long lived species cannot escape its effects. These things can save lives or take them. It's more powerful than the sword in your hands. That may be so, but I still prefer seeing things with the sword than. You know. Looks like I did get you all wrong. You're not a feeble scholar, but a sinister and despicable one. <laughs> Why the insult all of a sudden? I'm just sharing some medical knowledge here. Not persuading you to poison anyone. Seems like you get really excited when talking about poison. I can't tell if that's an honorable thing or sinister. Picture this. Two individuals, the one standing in full of malice, and the other lying down is honorable and righteous. How can the one who's lying down label the one standing as sinister? In the throes of combat, where lives and death hinges on a singular moment, every idea fades into nothingness. The only thing that matters is staying alive. Surviving the battlefield reshapes all notions of worth, be it integrity or treachery. In my eyes, their significance is negligible. Perhaps you have underestimated your name, Mr. Jiaoshu. We may be young, but we've seen our fair share of war. Well, well, then you should know that the war dance is nothing more than a contents. So, why are you so focused on it? When I was appointed as a ringmaster for the war dance, as general we clad knights are supposed to join to the fray and slay enemies, why do we have to swing swords in a right ring just to please an audience? And this is how the general replied. To unsheath your sword in a ring is no different than to on the battlefield, as your sword revealed the might of all cloud knights. The Wardens is the perfect chance to showcase martial virtue and forge alliances from all of the cosmos. When we unsheathe the sword without drawing blood, we not only display our might, but also the martial virtue of the Cloud Knights. That's quite an insightful statement, Yanshin. Well, my apologies for being so short-sighted. I've been on the Luofu for quite some time. I haven't had a chance to see the ceremony venue for myself. Hmm. Hearing you speak so highly of it has piqued my curiosity. Would you mind showing me around? You want to see the sky split the ship where the wardens will be held? Let's go! I bet you only Miss Marge haven't seen it either, right? Well then, I'll give you a tour. Alright, let's go. Iko! I'll give you a tour on the sky splitter! That's the way we do it. Bye. Bye.
Looks like a lot of other visitors have also come to catch a glimpse of the sky splitter. And by many, I mean two. Huh? What's up, Mr. Chaochu? No, it's nothing. Doesn't seem like nothing. Do you see the airship in the distance? That's a sky splitter, the venue for the war dance ceremony. It doesn't look all that impressive from this distance. The sky splitter is actually uh, the Commission Luofu military vessel. Uh, people aren't allowed on board until the war dance officially commences. Tomorrow, when the bell rings and the ceremonial cannons roars, it will all be there representing the Cloud Knights of the Jamjo Luofu. Standing in a ring, ready to take on challenges from all over the cosmos. Since I was a kid, I've been training in swordplay in the art of war under the general. Every day, I'd swing my sword 10,000 times, and I'd thrust it 10,000 times, repeating the process over and over. And said I'm not like other kids. I've never envied the toys and freedom that they all had. I never found sword practice boring or hard. Even in the thick of battle, facing down savage abomination, I never felt scared. Each day I could feel myself getting stronger and stronger, and I racked up countless victories. It's the best feeling in the world. But then I faced a really tough opponent, and just one slash shattered my confidence into a thousand pieces. That's when I felt true fear for the first time. Maybe that's what Mr. Zhaoshu meant by life and death hinge on a single moment. Every idea fades into nothingness. After that I had to pick up the pieces and try to put myself back together. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't seem to find my old happy self again. I often ask myself, why do I will my sword? If defeat is inevitable, why do I continue to fight? Is it to reclaim the joy of victory? To meet the general's expectations? Or to secure my honor among the Cloud Knights? While the general could teach me the art of swordplay, he, could he couldn't teach me why I should keep on going. He said the reason must come from within myself. I've been struggling to find that reason. But after talking with you, Mr. Zhao Zhou, I think I already have the reason in mind. As a member of the Cloud Knights and their General's Apprentice, I've had a weight on my shoulders and I know there's still more to shoulder. But when I wield my sword, it feels like I'm letting go of everything. I love the feeling of giving it my all, facing any obstacles in front of me. Pressing forward. That's why I wield my sword. What is speech? Oh, Yangxing. So young, yet so grown up. By the way, how old are you exactly? Age doesn't really matter. Also, masters will understand how I feel. Hmm, I get it. Looks like all the kids on the Luofu live tough lives. So, how about you, Miss Yunli? It's not polite to ask a girl her age, no matter which young ship you're on. I'm not asking your age. I'm asking if you have a dream like Yangxing has. You don't look like a cook. You sound more like a TV host or something. Need I repeat myself again? I'm a healer. Well, I... I don't have a dream like Yangxing does. The only reason I'm participating in the Ringmaster's challenge is because I made a promise to my grandfather that I win the precious sword he contributed to with the war dance. Sounds like that mind of yours is just filled with swords. I bet you got nothing better on your mind. My father was a craftsman of the Jianzhu Zhuming. Because of his foolishness, many innocent people fell victim to the cursed sword he forged. Since I was a kid, it's been clear to me that not everyone deserves to have a weapon in their hands. Giving them a sword is no different from them being cruel to the innocent. Whenever I come across someone unworthy of a sword, I can't help but want to take it away from them. Given that I'm entering in the war's entering master, I'm stepping out to challenge him to ensure this previous sword doesn't fall into the hand of an unworthy master. Hey, what do you mean by unworthy master? I see. It's not easy for kids on the Zhuming either. Well, it's better to have a reason for wielding a sword than to be lost and confused. I've saved countless cloud knights in my life, and there are plenty of exceptional words like two of you. What happened, Mr. Zhao Zhu? Nothing. I was just reminded of some old friends and old tales. Judging from my personal, professional perspective as a healer. Both of you profess remarkable vitality. Your energies flow like raging fires and mighty gales. And the upcoming fight will definitely be impressive. Well, we've seen the sky splitter and tore the stargazer in the valley. I guess it's time to say goodbye for now. What? You're leaving already? 
But you've asked me about my dreams. I've been working hard too, you know. It's getting late, Miss March. Unlike you lot, I'm a grown-up bound by responsibilities and duties. The tasks entrusted to me by the general won't complete themselves. By the way, Yanjing, is it normal to have so many people wandering around in an automated area like the Stargaze and Avalia? Actually, this is a restricted area, but since you're all guests, I made an exception so you could take a look around. I understand. Well, I will take my leave. I wish you both the best of luck in the ring tomorrow. Hmm. Jia sure waves and then leaves. I'm still looking for the thing I dropped on the floor. And I don't know where it is. Seriously, I just spent so much time thinking about my dream, but you didn't even ask me. Dang, they just don't care. Now we're done with our tour of the Sky Splitter, shall we continue with our training? Why don't we take a day off? What? You want to secretly practice sword play by yourself? Dream on. You know, cramming before a fight never works out. For some reason, seeing the sky splitter has boosted my confidence. I've decided to conserve my strength for tomorrow. Alright, I'll take you out to start gazing in the Valia. Where's the thing I lost? Hey, IT Win TV, what's up? How are you doing today? Lily, did you see the thing I lost? Where is it? What did you do with it? Did you take it? Yeah, I don't know where it is. But it's so pretty. Mm, speaking of. She was combat type. Uh, let's grab that. Mong. Um, I think her skill is a skill what gives the speed to the teammates. I think so, right? So I think I probably want to do basic as the the basic would be the focus. I think. Then I'll do the skill for the speed buff. Yeah. Uh. That's just the damage with the multiple hits. And then I'll do talent, then ultimate, I think. Shusha, red face! This is not a bishop. I need some time to take care of things. You willingly do in the skin of a loud beast to join this mission. Dedicated yourself to your glorious clothes. Now you tell me you can't handle it. You realize how many ships we need. I'm doing my best, alright? It takes time to figure all this out. When the gun goes off tomorrow, all eyes will be on it. That will be our only chance. Hi, Jushi! Who's there? Uh, yeah, uh, definitely, definitely Boysen. Who are you guys? Um, tourist? An impromptu inspection. Why are there outsiders loitering in Stargaze and Navalia? And a bunch of kids at that. Hey kids, didn't your parents tell you to stay away from the Stargaze and Navalia? I know it's an automated facility, but it doesn't mean you can just break in and do what you want. I'll take the little ones away right now. Sorry, I'll take the little ones away right now. Big C's, let's go. I want to play in Everhand Plains. <laughs> Yuli's like, what? Everhand Plains? Uh, yeah, sure. Big C's will take you there. You should have let me. The overhaul is done, and everything looks good. We should leave. 
She pretty. She's incredibly pretty. Dun 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 da. Suspicious. Could you repeat what you just said, Yanchin? What did I say? Big seas, let's go. I want to play in Everhand Plains. Come on, can't you read the room? Something is definitely off about the three we just met. Yeah, anyone could see that. I just wanted to hear you say it again. That pink haired fox tried to say something. I'm pretty sure he said something fishy. Since he's not familiar with this place, he just dropped us a hint, but you didn't seem to be paying attention at all. I knew that from the beginning! I clown I didn't recognize my so Yanching. Looks like they were tampering with the Starsky production line, huh? That's really weird. What? Is he famous on the loo or something? Not even the Cloud Knights on the Juming who all know my glorious name might recognize my face. You have a point. A Cloud Knight, a member from the Skyfaring Commission and a craftsman. They're from various departments and the reason for the overall seemed legit. One of them blurted out some weird language just now, did you hear that? I have a feeling that we, if we secretly tell them, we'll definitely catch these guys in the act. The hot, hot sexual acts. Follow my lead, and be careful not to blow our cover. Never mind who they are. Let's just film them. Don't get too close, Miss Marsh. They might spot you. Taking a picture just for fun. Mmm, taking a picture just for the lulz. Hell yeah! Incivic investigation work! We should have just killed those lowly beasts. They surprise one take up some space. There are boxes all over this place. Just dump them into one, no one will notice. Can the theatre is Grulak? Even the slightest sleep up could interfere with Lord Mock Talk's plans. So where are we heading next? To check the freight skiffs. We've got a lot of preparations to do. Also, don't forget to take those crates with you. Weapons, supplies, we've got to be well prepared. Otherwise, we're screwed. Screwed! So are they smugglers? What exactly are they up to? I've no clue, but they seem to be moving those crates. I've got an idea. We can hide inside the crates and follow them. Oh my god! It's time to, uh... Take advantage of the temporary absence of the group. You cautiously approach a crate and crawl inside. Take an A. It's so cramped in here. I can hardly breathe. Just hang in there. You hear footsteps pacing back and forth beside the crate. If someone were to open the crate at that moment, they would suddenly catch you in your ridiculous hiding position. Fortunately, that doesn't happen. The floating mechanism at the bottom of the crate is activated. You feel it begin to drift slowly forward. After what feels like an entire ember era of holding breath in silence, you hear heard the sound of the crate touching down. They just put a card over here for now, right? They will move on to inspect the ships. Lord Mogtok said that as soon as we're done, we're to board the freight skiff and leave this place. Don't worry, I've changed your ship's schedule. You too, come with me. Is it just me? I keep smelling the stench of lowly beasts everywhere we go. Don't be so paranoid. The departing footsteps sound like a signal, prompting you to breathe a sigh of relief. Looks like they're planning to escape on the skiffs of Stargazer Navelia. They keep talking about their plans, but where did they come from? What did they want to do on the Shanjo? They're definitely up to something bad, but... Wait, they disappeared? Let's catch up to them. Brum. <laughs> Super sticky style! Hayako Kukureo! Ha ha! Super sticky time! What? Oh, he's a power note. Running out of time. Get over there. I'm coming. Right, Zengi. Zuma, Zengi. Oh. We should catch up to them quickly, Uwu. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. It keeps running. There it is. What are they up to? They're all wearing official uniforms, but I'm pretty sure they're not members of the Skyfaring Commission. The Iceland Commission are all the Cloud Knights. This is way too suspicious. Never mind who they are. They just filmed them. That way, if they do anything bad, we'll have solid evidence against them. It's picture time! Boom! Look at this, a fright star skiffs with enough room to fit at least 20 of my men. I'll let the others know and have them prepare more star skiffs. Once we're past the checkpoint, there will be beast chiefs waiting for us. Lord Mogtok is ready. The revival of our ancient bloodline all hinges on this operation. Damn! What did you just say? Beast chiefs? Who's there? Uh, kids. It's those brats. I told you to get rid of them. But you need to listen, you idiots. Why they were out? Oh my god, who could have seen this one coming? Die, you lowly beast. I'm not a lowly beast. I'm Pog. <laughs> I'm not a beast, I'm super bug! Dorima coming through! Tarima coming through. Man, her animations are so cute, dude. How is this possible? How did these foxians change their appearance like that? They're not functions at all. They reveal the true forms. They're Borisin. Just like the bends I defeated in the IPC sheep. Wait, that means... They've infiltrated the Zhangzhou! It's not just a simple disguise of wearing clothing and shaving their whiskers. They're somehow able to alter their appearance to be indistinguishable from Foxians. They even have official IDs from the Skyfaring Commissions, the Arts and Commissions, and even the Cloud Knights? Let me check, this fake Cloud Knights tag. Maybe it will give us some clues. Lu Jung? An officer of the Patrol Defense Squad? Wait. What's the matter? I encountered a patrol officer named Lu Jun before. It was a few weeks ago when we were transporting the boys in prisoner. If they can forge official identities and move around the Chancho without raising suspicion. Oh no, this is bad. Even worse, if you find one cockroach on the express, it surely means... There are more boys in hiding on the Chancho. A better plan is much bigger than just stealing information. We've got to report this to the Seed of Divine Foresight. <gasps> oh my god, we got her! Meanwhile, the Seed of Divine Foresight. Womp womp. Womp womp. In the meantime. Womp womp. That's me! Back to the kitty. It's me and I'm back, baby. It's me and I'm back, baby. Uh, speaking of, I mean, I've been doing shenanigans since earlier, but I didn't use my stamina, did I? I'm a, I'm a little bit of a sussy buck. Huh? I'm a little bit of a sussy buck. Okay, I'm not capped out. We're good. We're good, chat. Don't worry about it. What the heck is going on? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm glad to finally meet you in person, guest from the Astral Express. I'm Fei Shao, the general of the Shanju Yaoshim. 
What up? It's me, I'm Kitty. Let me introduce our guest to you. The one dressed in green. He's the reincarnation of Imbibita Lune, and the person behind him is the newest member of the crew. I've heard a lot about you. Outside the reports from the Lulu Food, Catherine Commission of the Yaoxing has also gathered plenty of information about both of you. I've been eager to meet you face to face, for reasons that I'm sure General Jin Yuan has explained, right? Uh, uh, to answer your question as witnesses. That's right, but don't worry, this isn't a trial. I just want to have a chat with you and get a better understanding of the facts. According to General Jing Yuan's report, the Ruin Legion is to blame for the Emperor Arbor Crisis, and all Arbiter Generals should pay attention to the Ruin Author's movement. Over the years, the Destruction's minions have wreaked havoc on countless worlds, and the Alliance has been keeping an eye on them. But no one expected them to join hands with the Remnant of the Abundance. The damage caused by the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis was far less severe than expected, which is good news for us. However, it was a quite different from the Ruined Legion's usual style of destroying life wherever they go. While I trust the bravery of the Divine Foresight and the Nameless, I'm curious about some detail missing from the report. I'd like to take this chance to have an exchange for both of you. Let me be clear, the questions I ask might not reflect my actual thoughts, so please don't take offense if any of my questions seems a bit harsh. Please go ahead, General. But keep in mind, we can only answer based on what we know, and perhaps you already have the answers to your questions in your heart. Wow! Rika! Thank you so much for the raid! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Hi! Hope you had a good time streaming! What's up? Alright, I gotta find the little thing I lost, though. Give me a second, I'm going under the table. Ain! Hello! Deido, deido, laido! Hiyo! How was your stream? What were you up to? Rika, deido! Indubitably. Uh, I need to SO you real quick, but I'm also getting triggered because I lost something under the table and I still haven't found it. Uh, SO Lika Uh, Muffin. That's, that, that's not how it works. Well, apparently Rika Muffy was playing Starwell too. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how it works! Okay, you play Mass Effect Parkers. Oh my god, I can't. The weather is killing me. I did it! Yatta! Oh, I found the thing I was looking for. Okay, awesome. Oh, God. Listen, it's too hot. It's too warm. My brain cannot function under those circumstances. I hope you can forgive me my, me and my multiple transgressions. Uh, how have you been, though? I feel like it's been forever. But you, I feel like you've been playing Mass Effect for, like... Over a year at this point, it's actually insane. Am I crazy? We played some ass effect at a great party. Hell yeah. Who did you, um... Who did you romance? That's the real question. Three years now? Yeah, fair enough. About... About three or... Three, three years, probably. Wait, so... Yeah, so did you actually finish the last DLC? Is it Kokover? Uh, is it time to move on with your life again? Are you free? <laughs> You're at the last mission! Ooh! I've heard that the last part of Mass Effect 3 is very... Uh... Apparently a lot of people don't really like it for some reason. You've played it before, right? And then you're free again. Do you have any plans regarding like, what you're going to be playing afterward? The DLC was amazing. Nice. R romancing Garrus. Is Garrus like the... It's like one of the aliens, right? It's like the... I don't know the name of the race. Is he like... He has like a visor and he's blue. The Turian. Yeah, I think that's the guy I'm thinking of. I think I'm thinking of the right person. I've never played Mass Effect. Well, that's not true. I, I started playing one of the games and I just couldn't get into it for some reason. I don't know why. It just didn't work for me. Yeah, the blue one. Alright, there it is. See? 
Even by my incredibly minimal information, I still can figure something out. I remember when... I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. There was something... I have some smaller games lined up, some nice puzzle games. Ooh, which one? I kind of like some puzzle games from time to time. I mean, to be fair, lately I've been just... Okay, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not doing anything in the game. I'm just talking with you. Although, I mean, this is entertaining to me. Um... But yeah, I've been, um, I've been, I've been on the gacha grind. I've been playing so many gacha, it's actually insane. Uh, but I've been having a good time, so you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. I love gacha games; they make me happy. I'm trying to fix. Um, so I, I have this hair thingy that I had, but I, I it broke, like the the pin, like just fucked off. So now I'm just trying to fix it. Nothing this big. I mean, yeah. Going on to, like, trying to do the entire trilogy was a massive endeavor. But you did it, hell yeah. How's the art treating you, by the way? You still doing some art? You still arting? Taking commissions? How do I fix this shit? My god! Pain, pickle, pain! I'm losing my mind. Stop make me crazy. Stop make me crazy. Chicken police, Kenna, Bridge of the Spirits. Oh man, I actually started playing Kenna a long time ago and I never finished it. Which is kind of sad. It was nice. Yeah, I think it was nice. Oh, I think I fixed it. Um, actually, I'm not sure. No, I don't think I did. Did I put it in the wrong way? I think I put it wrong. Fuck me. You still doing the arts? Hell yeah. Time for the sleepies? Yeah, sleep well! Sorry, I, I kept you too long. Uh, take care, take care, take care. Thank you so much for the raid once again. I hope you rest well. I'll see you uh, another time. This is a pain in my fucking butt, dude. And I've, my nails are way too long to be dealing with this right now. How does this shit work? Yeah, I think I actually just don't get it. Alright, I'll f I'll ask a friend to do it for me because I'm stupid. Alright, lots of love to you. I'm so sorry for all of that. If you guys don't know me, I'm Kitty Cathy. I'm a silly little girl and I play a lot of um, gacha games and silly JRPGs and stuff. You have a clever tongue. I like it. Alright. Negotiation! The Merlin's claw is quite articulate. Right now, our intentions are unknown, and Jing Yuan wants us to be honest. Maybe I'll just stick to the facts we know. Let's cut to the chase before the crisis struck. The Astro Express was guided here by a Stellon Hunter, a wanted felon, in an attempt to resolve the Stellon Crisis. However, everyone in the cosmos knows of the Stellon Hunter's reputation, so why did you place so much trust in them? Could it be that some of you have a connection with them? It all comes down to the stellar one, probably. Apart from the Lofu, there are many other worlds suffering from stellar and corrosion. For example, Jaolo 6, the world that the Express stopped at before reaching the Lofu, was one of them. To the Express, Stellaron acts as a roadblock on the Silver Rail and poses risks to the warping process. That's why dealing with Stellaron issues is part of the duty of the Nameless. Oh, I've heard about those problems caused by Stellarons. The Express connects various worlds, so it makes sense for you to take care of this. The cosmos is a mess, and the Trailblazers are just doing their best to fix it. I understand. Let's move on to the next question, then. The report suggests that Dan Shu, the master of disciples of Sanctus Medicus, colluded with Lord Ravager and used the power of the Stellaron to resurrect the Ambrosial Harbor. 
But here's the thing, Danji was just a chief alchemist. Even if she colluded with our enemies and summoned Stenron, how did she manage to bypass the Vijadara guard around the Ambrosial Arbor? Uh, the exile of Imbuta Luna is what led to this calamity. I personally need her. I don't think saying that we met her is a good idea here. The preceptors? If the Luffy didn't exile Dan Heng, leaving the Vijadara with no leader, they wouldn't have fallen into chaos and there wouldn't have been the opportunity to bring the Selron to the roots of the arbor unnoticed. Imbuta Luna was exiled due to his own crimes. Now Dan Heng, as his reincarnation, is freed from his sins. However, why did he risk trespassing on the Xiangzhou Lufu before his exiles was lifted? I was concerned about the safety of my companions, so I acted brazenly. I admit I was reckless at the time, but... But you returned despite everything. Now let's consider the outcome. The arbor was resurrected and the Lufu required a high elder to repair the seals and suppress the plague mark. It's hard not to think about the sex involved, right? According to the report, Lord Ravager Fantilia is the mastermind behind the entire conspiracy. She disguised herself as an amicasador of the Skyfaring Commission and did travel with you, only to vanish with a trace later on. It seems too convenient to label her as a scapegoat. Uh, Fushuan, the Master Diviner, witnessed everything firsthand. Fentilia is a hel Heliobius. Heliobius, I mean, that's true. Fatili is one of the Iliubai, the energy life form that once fought against Sancho. They're known for their unpredictable and elusive nature. Just as Kiri said, when the Ambrosial Harbor was erected, it roots broke through the creation furnace on the Luofu, accidentally releasing the Heliobus fiend fire sealed inside. This can be used as circumstantial evidence. If Elder Huayan accepts the explanation, so do I. Yatta! Well, it seems that your answers have addressed all my questions. Generals, I am finished with my questionings. So, what do you think, General Feishao? Have the doubt in the report been cleared up? She like, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. How am I supposed to fix this? I just don't get it. It boggles the mind. It's in shade. I. The two nameless have been honest in the answers, even though there are some tricky details. My intuition tells me there is nothing wrong. Is there going to be a but? But, however, there it is. However is a very classy but. The three questions I posed earlier were not just for the nameless, but for you too, Zhong Jingyuan. Okay. What do you mean? I'm still obsessed with fixing the thing I'm trying to fix, and it's so annoying. Why, why am I like this? <sighs> it seems to... It must have been fixed differently. I mean, I think so. So I must have messed up somehow. What is it called? Hair clip, um, spring fell. Hair clip spring mechanism. Let's see how it works.
Oh. Okay, I get it. That's gonna be annoying as fuck to deal with, though. Holy shit. Okay, I'll do that later. Alright, I understand how to do it now. First, the disciple of Sanctus Medicus grew uninterrupted on the Luofu, yet the six charioteers were not aware of it. That was a dereliction of beauty. Second, you believe in the Seren Hunter prophecy and adjusted outsiders to solve the crisis. Even granting them access to the plague mark, that was a dereliction of responsibility. Third, you insist on holding the wood in spite of the Ambrosial Harbor crisis, putting the Luofu back in the spotlight. That is a dereliction of wisdom. Martin's Claw, is this your line of thinking, or the Ten Lords? From the moment I walked in, I made it clear that the question I asked might not reflect my actual thoughts. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus were deeply rooted and had been plotting for a long time. I admit it with my negligence for not noticing earlier. As for the Selen Hunter's prophecy, I didn't believe all of it, but in the end, the Lufu did survive the Ambrosial Harbor crisis. So I think it's safe to say that Elio's prophecy about the future holds some merits. Hey Mason, what's up? And as for the war dance, do you think I'm unaware of the risks? However, risks can also be opportunities. The Luofu has lain low for too long. I believe it's time to stir up the dregs hidden in the depths and wash them away once and for all. <laughs> Just as I expected from our sophisticated divine foresight, you have a way with words. I like it. But unfortunately, ever since the report was submitted, the Alliance has been filled with rumors and speculation. Even within the Luofu, there are people accusing you of neglecting your duties, resulting in the Ambrosial Harbor's resurrection. So, what are your thoughts on all of this, John Feichao? As a fellow Arbiter General, I fully understand the difficulties of this position. Personally, I think all these rumors are meaningless drivels. Across the Sea of Star, the Divine Foresight knows better than anyone else what happened to the Luofu and the meaning behind it. Just as what happened to Shangju Yaoxing recently. You mean the Shangju Yaoxing is also. The scattered Venn Knights have sent bad reports that Borisin are making trouble again. The Borisin packs there were once divided and scattered by stars swallowing each other up, forming larger and larger packs. Moreover, it is an entity named Mangas behind it all. An entity? According to the report, it's a then this entity is actually a Borisin. Isn't actually a Borisin. It's a woman claiming to be the messenger of the Master of Immortality. She's described as having 12 faces and 12 pairs of fangs, as cruels of poison and as elusive as quicksand. Though Borisin believes she'll give them a chance to rise again. That's Ventilia. That's right. You're lucky that I'm the one who came this time. If it were the Patina Justice or the Steer Strategist, this conversation might not be so friendly. The Patina Justice, Yo Wu, or the Steer Strategist, Yao, Yao Wang. I've always had faith in my instincts, so I don't doubt your good intentions, but the Alliance has its fair share of questions and doubts about the Luofu. So, my plan is to come up with an acceptable answer to satisfy the Alliance. Hmm. The Shangjo Luofu? <laughs> oh, Bearwold! I got super lucky! I was doing some... Ah, I think I posted it, actually. Yeah, I just got a cool boat in uh, Azure Lane. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, which was... Oh yeah, I got a... Lin London Table? London Table! Oh, wee oui, wee oui, wee oui, wee. Oui. So that's pretty cool. I saw, yeah! I was like, that was like so random. I did not expect that whatsoever. Still not Strasbourg? No! How could this be? Man, I hope you can get her. How long is the event still going on for? I'm still trying to fix the thing. I can't believe I'm just like I'm I'm so strong headed and an asshole. Stop it, kitty. Stop trying to fix the thing. But I wanna fix the thing. <laughs> I wanna fix the thing.
I don't even get how. Ah! I might have found a nice picture to show how. Never mind. I don't get how it works. Oh. I think I get it. Yeah, 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 I get it. Oh, dude, that's pain. How am I going to do that? Yo, that's literally so pain to do, though. How am I supposed to do that? No! I dropped the thing on the floor! No! August 7th? Oh, okay. Still got some time, still got some time. Like, kind of like a week. Yeah, I found it. I, I understand how to fix it. I, I need to do it. I, I, I have this problem. I'm hyper fixating on the thingy that's broken. <sighs> What's in the plan? You already know what has to be done, but since you don't want to be the bad guy, I'll take care of it for you. You need to find a word from the Tenlord Commission to quell any doubts. For that, I have to ask the two nameless visit the Shackman prison. Are you imprisoning us? No, but while you're there, I'll ask a judge in the Tenlord Commission Interrogation Division to record a detailed testimony of the coming mirror from both of you, film the gaps that were uncovered in the report and silence any protests within the Alliance. I'm okay with that. Um, really, let's come back? Worried that I might go back on my work and keep you in the second prison? Relax, if I wanted to do that, you'd already be behind bars. Once you start with your testimony, you're free to come and go as you please. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go! You are here for Hule. Mm. We must act preemptively. He was a bit worried. No, overall, they're having a friendly conversation. It's not too bad. Alright. Hey, dude. Wrong person. Do you actually believe in the Stellar and the Hunter's Prophecy? I don't know. What are you looking at? You're definitely a unique individual. I have one side of Rainbow's path as a friend. Yes, ma'am. Oh! Collect. Collect, 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 collect. Collect everything. Yatta! Alright, I'm down. I'm down. This weather sucks, dude. I can't. It's so fucking pain. Let's get going, baby! <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Sure. Down, down, down. So that's the Shaikh prison. Was that a teleporter? I'm sorry, like, the, the heat is actually slowing me down. Alright, open the gate for me. 
So the Shackle prison inside the Skeletal Gorge Waterscape too. Uh, technically, it's spread across multiple delves, and the entrance is just where they overlap. Please come on the... Really? That's weird. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Oh, that's the big door we saw in the trailer. Alright. What could go wrong? Mosey's there too, Pogu. The prison's completely different. It's completely underwater. Whether it's in the clouds or underwater, breaking free would still be a piece of cake for me. You're still thinking about your old jailbreak tricks, huh? Forget it, you're free now. Those don't do anything stupid. The judge will throw you back in there and lock you up for a few hundred years. So I was kind of right about uh, how he was a prisoner back then. <laughs> Taking Hulei back to the Aoshin means a lot to the function of the ship and the general itself, so stay alert. My... That's my girl! My name is Shui, and I'm here on orders for the incarnation division of the Ten Lord Commission. Hmm. General Feishao was sent to extradite the boys and criminal Hulei to the Yaoshin. And they got an inspected condition. Okay, I make version for the transportation. The warhead and brood lord of the Borisin abomination of abundance and the arch nemesis of the function is responsible for 2,123 wars of aggression and countless associated crimes. It's not like he killed 2,000 people. He caused over 2,000 wars. He's been imprisoned the depths of the Shackling prison and subjected to the punishment of the Forest of Swords until the end of time. He shall never be pardoned. The Forest of Swords? But it's incredible that was a better than his safety. I know you had the legend about who laid to since you were children, but your knowledge about him is likely very limited. Only the judges of the Ten Lord Commission surely know what kind of abomination is locked up at the bottom of the Shaken Prison. It has been centuries since Jing Liu, the former sword champion of the Louvre, who captured Hu Lei. And during all those years, we never provided him with any food, yet he somehow managed to stay alive. It defies all the documented physical characteristics of the Borisian. The Forest of Sword, forged by the Punishment Division, is a device of intense torment used to execute sinful abomination. Most Borisin die within three days in the forest, but Hulei is different. Every time, the every time the blade pierces him, his body instantly heals. Despite the brutal punishment, he somehow manages to survive. Okay. Okay, summary. The boys in warhead that is in the Japan is accountable for numerous acts of invasion and associated war crimes, accountable for the long term enslavement of function and utilizing their blood for alchemical purposes. This prisoner must be subjected to the punishment of the Forest of Sword and never be pardoned. They must be transferred to different locations on a regular basis. The shackle must be checked for sturdiness during the transfer, and the air filters in their new cell must be intact and functional. Notes. 1. The confinement of the prisoner is the foundation of the alliance between the Chanju and the functions. Any individual objecting to this sentence should be punished for sowing discord. Anyone who contacts or converses with this prisoner must take poison-proof pellets or wear a breathing mask equipped with a filter cartridge to counteract the effect of lupitoxin. The prisoner's place of detention must be changed on a yearly basis, and the new location must remain unknown to an individual below the rank of Cloud Knight, Luzon, or Judge. Do not mention Jing Liu when conversing with this prisoner. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, Hule is like all boys, and you can release a pheromone called lupotoxin that induces fear. Fe wow, okay. Thousands of years ago, we fucked and were enslaved by the Borisin, not because we were naturally weaker, but because of their lupotoxin. This pill is for our own mental well being. Understand. Raise the ball! Okay. Wow, that's intense. <laughs> he smells them. Your honor. Are they Borisin too? When you have doubts, don't. I hate this trope when, like, people in anime figure something out. Or in anything. It's not even only anime. It's like they notice something is obviously wrong, and someone asks them what's going on, and they're like, nothing. It's probably just me. Just like, nah. Maybe it's probably not just you. Maybe you raise the concern. Alright, let's wait a moment then. Okay, sister. It's a skull which would escape shocking prison was built at the bottom of the ancient sea. As a column structure, they extend endlessly into the depths. Spirit fairer, monitor and manage real-time information of prison cells and prisoners on the screen. Okay. That's cool beans. Oh, that allows you to, to go to the other place. Fair enough. Oh, box! Oh, I like this lady here. Thing to collect. The Jade Abakai here glows with an unusual luminescence as they perform the calculations. Possibly on the status of the prison cells or the security of each area. Oh. Welcome to your guest from the Express. <gasps> That's my waifu! Miss Hanya! I love her so much. Pom Pom takes care of us at home and friends take care of us on the road. That's just how it goes. Even though we've met before, we can't show any favoritism under the Ten Lords. So please do as I command as we head to Scarvener Hall and beyond. Don't do anything without my permission. Sure. Man, Hanya and uh, Shui are so great. I can't believe they're four stars. I'm still upset about it. It should have been them! <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. That's a big mushroom. I'm just I'm walking around breaking parts for no reason. People are like, Jesus Christ, what are you doing? <gasps> That's a box for the kitty! Ta-da! Oh, oh, oh! Puzzle? Puzzle for the kitty? Exanexus remake. It's a complete remake version of the Exanexus, bruh. Coopins. Chase the chairs. I like this area, it's cool. Why is it in ruins, dude? What the hell? Samurai. It's 
freezing. This place is filled with the cold air from the northern peak of the Polo Delve. But the toughest long species would have a hard time enjoying this. This crater look oddly familiar. The spirit fair received a report of an IPC transport ship that was attacked by Borisin, then a bunch of those abominations were dumped into this place. I had a feeling there would be trouble during the war dance, but throwing boxes to pirates in the cargo in jail, that's a new one. Looks like the IPC has caught the attention of the Borisin. I heard the intelligence at Guild crafted something dangerous. We have many records in the Hall of Karma, but it's wise ones. They love to tinker with forbidden technologies and always try pushing the limits of, the, of Ingenia. I caught a glimpse of the mechs in those crates and the bear striking resemblance to Borisin. I wonder what they're planning this time. Business first, let's keep moving. I feel like it's gonna be used to help the guy escape. Hule. Oh god, cinematic. She do that's a lot of enemies. The gardener responding, something's wrong. You think so? Did Yima come through? Tell him. Ow. The battle is over. How is this even possible? The spirit fairer followed the protocols, cutting off power to the mechs and sealing the crates. How could this mech still start moving? Just like what happened in the artisan condemnation before, those goods were in haywire and attacked everyone inside. Uh, Lingsha mentioned there was some kind of biological tissue inside the mechs. A neutral structure within. They think showing up in the striking prison can only mean one thing. A prison break. A way for the leaders could clearly wanted them to go through the Shanju's strict inspection process. Uh, to show the Skyfaring Commission Cloud Knights how dangerous they were. They wanted these mechs to end up right here in the Shaken prison. These things already started taking action while nobody was paying attention. Then the whole prison is in trouble, I'm afraid. Okay. To make things worse, not the group of visitors enter the depths of Shaken prison. The messengers from the Shanju Yaoshin. The prisoner they came, they came to visit might be the target from those wall-shaped mechs were delivered here for. If that vicious beast manages to break free, it will be a catastrophe for the Shangju Luofu. Indubitably. Indubitably! Indubitably! A few moons prior, Shui leads the Yashin messenger to the bottom of the prison. Oh god. I'm sure she'll be fine. Surely, nothing showed her not being fine. Shouldn't there be a cage here? Look at that! Flower time, baby! Flower time! Whoop! Flower time, baby! Flower time! Whoop! Flower time, baby! Flower time! Whoop! Boop! 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 Okay.
Wow. Hey, Sayak, how are you doing today? Wow. That's a big key. I'm gonna lie, I still really don't understand the topography of the Shanjo Luofu. Shanjo Luofu topography. I don't get how the water fucking functions. Like, it's just a giant boat that has water at the end of it, like, I... Yeah, I guess the it's just that the 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 the, the Lufu is so huge that it just has like there's like so much shit inside it, I guess. Oh right, they do have a space folding technology. Okay, 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 okay. Big key, big hole. Big kitty. No. Also, before we forget a few things, let's do that real quick. <sighs> we got some achievement here. Like, everything keeps pinging me and it bothers me, so I wanna, you know. There it is. Here, we've got that. Got this here. Ah, oh, that's cool. Mission. Okay, that's just what we have here. That's cool. You've got mail. Claim everything. Yes, sir. Let's open this up. Okay. What about the others? Boop. 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 Better sign up. Travel log. It's like the primeval blade. Oh, there's something I do want to do. It's to go to the shop store. Because the monthly stuff is back. So I can buy five of these. Five of those. I'll get this one too. Hey, that's one multi. Let's go. Five star. Oh, that's a five. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Insane. All right, what are we getting? Another Bailu. I got a. I got two Bailu in two days. That's crazy. It, I guess it's just the game telling me welcome back to the Lua Foo, bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, now nah, I got her E2. I think it's the ultimate value outgoing killing Chris by additional 15% for two turns. I wanted more constellation for my Himiko, not gonna lie. Oh well, it is what it is. When a key in the shape of colorful called sky bearing column slots into the keyhole, it unlocks the path to the shackling prison crypts where criminals of high severity are held subject to captivity, blah 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 blah. Ultimate gate, okay. <gasps> uh, I'll just change my team in case I have to actually fight with him. And we'll do, um... Uh, 
Inside the delve behind this door is the greatest enemy of the function, Hule. Arg. Voice from behind the door. Arg. According to customs, envoy from the Yaoxing visit the Shanshulufu once every century to check on the supplementation's imprisonment and condition. Even though the Ten Lord Commission sentenced Hule to the Forest of Swords, suffering every day for the rest of his life, I understand that the Yaoxing visit centuries want to see him dead. Unfortunately, for the past seven centuries, they've had to be returned disappointed, because these beasts simply can't be killed. If you can use his toxin to create medicine to save an innocent life, it might help balance out some of the sins he has committed. Could you be the key to a cure for the general, Hule? Ooh, that makes sense. <laughs> Once again, the envoys of the Yaoxing will leave disappointed. However, I won't say the same for me and my brothers. Didn't I call him sus the first time we saw him? I was like, that guy is a person, 100%. Who's there? I'm just a humble counselor of the Rhino Hound Pack. You can call me Moktok. Wooden's interest on the level level. Lowest level, send reinforcement! Nobody will hear you here at the bottom of the Shackling Prison. Thank you for opening up the prison for us, your honor. We'll take it from here. The wonder I kept smelling the female stench. It wasn't just my imagination. Do your thing, Mbose. We mustn't let this abomination get any closer! Yes. Yes, Queen. Good morning, Black Yoshi Star. Thank you for the hydrate in the pat pat. I already did hydrate not too long ago, and the pat pat is broken for some reason. Let me fix it. Alright, the pat pat is working again. It's not time yet. Big food! Damn, he looks cool like this. Wait. What does it say downstate? I don't know. Money actually doesn't have any form of healing in this set. In this kit, one point. That's bad. I'm pretty good, thank you for asking, Yoshi. What about you? Ba 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 ba. Ain't nothing to fear, true. <laughs>
That's not good. Oh, that is not good. Man, I'm sorry, girl, but you're not that strong as Jing Liu 400 years ago. There's no way you can beat him. You shouldn't do that, man. Me six were done. She got clapped, dude. Even if it's a puppet body, I'm still upset. How many times has the old verdant home spun around since our last hunt? Durin's whelp. Tell me your name. Great Hule, emissary of functions and the hunter of all beings, a Moktok, a humble counselor of the renowned hound pack. I'm only one insignificant hair spawned from your bloodline. It's been at least seven centuries since you led our pack to the hunting ground of the stars. I'm thrilled to see you are as cunning and skillful as ever. Seven centuries have passed. But why have those wolves grown to look like this? Tell me, Moktok. Why have grown to resemble our most despicable slaves and enemies, the Fuxians? I've been commanded to release you from this cursed prison. It is Saint Gia's will, fate. That's why I had to take a magic pill, don the skin of a lowly beast and play along with their hypocrisy. Since you have an escape plan, tell me, what's the next move to get off of this ridiculously large ship? My brothers and I will lock down the prison, trapping the prison guard inside. This will buy us some time. The rest of my crew who are undercover like me will secure the vessels for our escapes. According to the plan, we only have a tight two-hour window to get out of here. Originally, I intended to carry out the plan to more, but they're planning to transfer you to the Changzhou Yaoxing now, so I seize this opportunity to set you free. What a reckless plan, you idiot. Even if you manage to get the ships, so our chance of escaping is slimmer than the friction sleeping through my claws. We have no other choice. The angel serving under the Master of Immortality sent me with a message. Only your return will end the prolonged divisions among the Borisin. Every one of my crew is ready to lay down their lives if it means setting you free. A sneaky weakling like you is actually showing some reckless bravery this plan. Fine, you'll get what you want, and all of Durin's well full too. Well then, my lord, we should leave now, before we go give me one of those magic pills. My lord, you seriously want to don the skin of a lowly beast? It would be a disgrace to your greatness, my lord. Why is uh, Zhao Shu just sitting here? You idiot, greatness means nothing without freedom. Once they get out, I'll need these guys that would raise any suspicion. As I wish, my lord. Is that fox enslaved my meal? No, he is an envoy from the Changshu Yaoshin. I plead you to endure him a bit, my lord. As he's more valuable as a hostage. Take him, guys. Time to move out. Damn. Damn! At the same time, Kitty and Hengane have realized the situation in the prison is out of control. Damn, everything's going to shit! The Iron Wolves broke open the cage and let the criminals out. We've called for backup, but it seems like all communication is jammed. Let's preserve his strength and first take down the isolated prisoners. By the decree of the Ten Lord, all prison breakers and intruders shall be apprehended dead or alive. Just a short time ago, the needle key mechanism was activated. It was probably Madame Shui and the Yaoxing messengers heading to the bottom of the prison. Uh, given the situation, I'm afraid the area is exactly where our enemies are targeting. We mustn't let the vile beast escape from its cage. We've gathered all the prison guards we can still fight and we'll split up in security floor. Go. Okay. Those intruders are quite bold. They're supposed to be holding him? Um, no, that's fine. I was just surprised because they hadn't said anything about him being a hostage, right? I mean, I don't think... I, even if they don't hold him, I don't think he could escape. Boys intend to favor direct and aggressive approaches. Crafting careful and precise plans like this is simply not their style. Let's focus on the current situation right now. Please help me. Uh, 
Uh, seven stable of day. Yep. I mean, you'll have a longer testimony to do now. What's the fastest way to the bottom of this prison, Miss Hanya? If we don't get there quickly, we'll soon be outnumbered by all the enemies inside. I'll have to bend the rules. Please follow me. Okay. Shackle shackled. Um, I need healing. Hey, healing's here. Toshimashita! Alright, we need a few tools to reach the the prison's death quickly. Oh my god, everything is spinny. Alright, so we can use these to go down f faster, but usually you wouldn't, is what she's saying. Because it can help prisoner escape. So we're just ignoring those limitations, just in, because we gotta go fast. We gotta go fast! Boom! Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Man, Rome is great. Rome is peak. Thank you for the bad pass. What's up? Yeah. Oh boy. Looks like there was a fierce battle here not long ago. No. 
The gate to the prison delve is wide open. Fu Lei has managed to break free. But the Yaoxing messengers and where's my sister? Are they still alive? Let's look around. Maybe we'll find some clues. Like the dead body of the sister. Yeah, she's right there. I can see her from here. First, I've got a treasure chest to open because, you know, as one does. Shui! Is here. May Shrey bravely sacrifice herself. My condolences, Miss Hanya. Well, that's unnecessary. You misunderstand. Thanks to the Ten Lord's blessing, my sister turned to an ingenium centuries ago. Dying and returning as just a soul to the Hall of Karma Document Office has been a has become a routine for her. But I'm not keen on seeing her throw away her body like it's some replaceable parts, but... By the way, have you seen bodies that might be the Yaoshi messengers? One of them is a Foshan wearing exquisite clothes and the other wears a dark cloak like a fugitive. No, we haven't. Only Borisin once. Mm. They're holding the messengers hostage, indeed. The prison guard can't do anything about the prisoners. If anything happens to the messengers, the relationship between Yaoxing and the Luofu could be irreversibly damaged. Irreversibly. That's not good. Let's go, let's secure them, save them. There's a glimmer of hope. I'm the glimmer of hope. I'm the one that gleams. Shines? I hate this. Just woke up after an early morning drink. How are you doing? I'm okay, but I hate the weather. It's too warm lately, and I hate it, and I hate it, and I hate it. Just kill me. <laughs> what has she found? A broken side crane. Is she saying Hanya? What the heck? Reconstruct? Yeah, I was right. Her soul hasn't returned to the Hall of Karma yet. At such a critical moment, her death can give us information that we can turn into an advantage. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. The damage isn't too bad. If I can fix it, then my sister will have a temporary body. Uh, oh, right, it's one of those. Hanya, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back, sister. I don't know what kind of expression should have at a time like this. Happy? Tears of joy? Uh, forget it. I'm used to you come back in all sorts of forms. She's actually so happy, it's so cute. Usually she speaks in such a monotonous voice. This is cute. The new form is kind of cute. She was cuter before. It's pretty convenient. Just don't let me damage again. I'll lose my memories. The sacrament can't hold all of me. What did you say when you were killed? Uh, though intermittent in its delivery, the sacrament provides an account of what happened. While the Yaoxing passengers escaped and the other one was taken hostage and brought upward. Beside the Borisin, there were other intruders, invisible. What does that even mean? How many conspiracies are tangled up in this mess? Do me a favor, sister. The intruders have cut off all communication between inside and outside the prison. Now you're the only person, the only bird, who can sleep out undetected. Make sure you deliver the news to the outside world. I understand. Please be careful, sister. You're different from me. Oh. Second flaps its wings and then steadily flies out of the lower levels of the shackling prison, charging straight into the depths of the shadowy passage. Hanya, so good. Yes. Time is running out, Miss Hanya. If you keep delaying, those boys will escape from the prison. Indubitably. <laughs> we made it.
Yo, this place is so fucking complicated. Holy shit. But it's easy to find your way. Just follow the trail of dead bodies. <laughs> Invisible intruder. Watch your backity. They're in prison from this prison. <gasps> it's a break in from other prisoners. Insane. Well, he skip 4.8. Uh, maybe. The answer is no. Thanks for the video. I appreciate it. Thank you, my man. I uh, probably need to change the... Um, oh, it's fine. I don't care. It's not really drip marketing. It's just like phase two banners. Um... Wait, was there an update to the first ascendant? Or is it coming later this month? I need to play more of the first ascendant. I really hope they fix the, some of the issues. remember where it is. Community role manager. Okay, I found it. It's done, Senna. Kitty and a shooter addiction. True. Sir. Sir. I thought you waited until after the stream. You you miss uh, you underestimate my capabilities. My ability to hyperfixate and I want to deal with everything right now, otherwise I will forget forever is too strong. I'm still upset at my hair clipper being broken and I can't fix it because I'm an idiot. It's showtime! Ah. Hair clip is broken, 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 broken. Stand by! At the very day! Um, uh, the bonk. Surprise, motherfucker! How is it with the, the door emote? Um, oh, it's next month. Uh, well, it's this month actually. I don't know when exactly, but it will be soon. Um, I don't know. I need to see with the uh, with my artist when that's gonna happen. Well, I can get you another thing for um. Those kind of purposes. Let me see. Maybe before my birthday. Oh, that's cool. When's your birthday?
I thought I had something pretty good for censorship purposes. I mean, you can always use banana, to be honest. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, emotes? Oh, I know exactly what you can use right now. You can use these for censorship purposes until I get something better. I mean, to be fair, it's really funny. <laughs> On the 17th? Ah, oh, that's cool. The man seems to materialize from the shadowy corners of the prison, as if he could vanish into thin air at any moment. Aboba protection. Yeah, right there. It's the sus. It's the sussity. The fugitive wearing a dark cloak spoken of by Anya last stands before you. His face is devoid of any expression, cold and indifferent, yet inexplicably you could decipher the expressionless facade as if it is whispered, you're finally here. The prison management at the Lufu is really concerning. Hey, you're the Yaoshing messenger who fled. I prefer to be called the Yaoshing messenger who stretches like you Strategically retreated. How do you like this your video? I just like looked through it until I found I found you. And then I, I didn't watch it actually. I just like parsed through it. At least two different groups of intruders infiltrated here, the wolf cubs, Borisin, and his Maastricht soldiers. Their hiding techniques is pretty similar to the wind mental techniques used by the Vitiadara serving Skylorum Venti. Venti? On the Yaoxing, what do you think? Venti? Venti? Wind mental? Well, never mind if you don't have any clues. There is no time to exchange assassination techniques. Amose. My friend fell into the clutches of that wolf. I was planning to escape and report back as quickly as possible, but now it seems. The prison on the Lufu is a real maze, I must admit. Thank you for your help, Mr. Mose. We'll do our best to ensure your friend's safety. No, you can do nothing for him now. And you shouldn't focus be focusing on his safety at the moment. Um... Isn't he your friend? Your friend is in Hole's clutch, and you're just going to leave him behind. Look, I'm the Yoshin General's guard, not his. I've seen how that giant wolf fights, and there is no way. Trying to save my friends will only get us killed. No, you think, but I won't throw my life away for a lost cause. Sleep well, so now take care. Listen up, I've been tracking these fugitives, and I know the next move. They're planning to seal up the entire prison to keep the outside world in the dark. The worst case scenario, we're all killed by the giant wolf and the shackling prison is sealed off. No one will know about us or about, to es or about their escape until it's too late. And the best case scenario... We trap them inside the prison? No, we won't be able to. We won't step behind them. The best case scenario would be we seal the gates and trap them in the enemy inside with us. We can't let the monstrous wolf escape. Agreed. I was trying... This is what I thought, but I was trying to be more optimist. Hopefully someone will eventually notice that something is off and come to help. As for whether we'll still be alive by then, it's not something we should think about. I mean... This face shower outside, I'm pretty sure she can help us out. I mean, she's probably like super strong, right? I feel like she's probably like Jing Liu level of strong. And Jing Liu was the one that captured Hu Lei. So she can probably do the same with the... Uh, again. Well, in this case. You sure have a way of converting people, Mr. Mose. As a person of the Yao Xing, I've always searched for something meaningful to give my life to. And this one isn't it. I have to make it out alive. My companions are waiting for me. As a netherworld dweller, I've already died once. Netherworld dweller. Um, I want to make it out alive too. Don't worry, even if we end up dying here, I won't let it happen to you first. Oh, that's sweet. 
I can't wait to die second. Well, just as good as confronting people as Mr. Mose. Not if you're a part of the Ten Lord Commissions. So sacrificing yourself isn't the right move. As a judge, it's my responsibility to guard the prison. And if someone should step up to stop Hulei from escaping, it should be me, not you. Once we reach the gate, I hope you'll help me seal it. After that, I'll do everything I can, I can to fight the boys in, and you find a safe place to hide and wait for the enforcement. Let's proceed upward. Let's go. There's a box. You know, I kind of miss playing uh, Acheron. Let's play some Acheron. Yeah, let's do some some Acheron team. Maybe I can play Dot Caron. Oh, I'll play the Overfan team. That's why we. Yeah, let's go with this team. Actually, replace Pella with her. They have some wind weaknesses rather than uh, ice. Although some of them seem to have some hard weakness. Uh, it's fine, whatever. Oh, we're super low HP though. Oh, there's your healing pad over there. Although that camera would have been fun. I like Huo Huo. I kind of miss Huo Huo. Do you guys remember Huo Huo? I remember Huo Huo. Jesus Christ, that scared me! Yeah, they're literally invisible, what the fuck? Uncool, dude, uncool. Little orb. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond in the sky. Wow. Wow. The prison wardens and mechanics won't be able to hold them for long. Follow me. Um. Make my way up town. The gate is up ahead. We can hear them fight. You okay? The fugitive are turning at the gates. Please be careful, Your Honor. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! Howling noises! I will hold them back. Don't let Hulei escape. Hulei? You dare? You dare? Surprise, motherfucker! Shit! Ow. What the? Kyoskete, 
また罪を背負ってしまった。はい。過去のです。It's cool to have a new area in the Luofu. I, I like that. <laughs> the Shackling Prison has become a killing field. The prison guard tried to resist, but Joe shoes something something. It's bringing back such familiar memories. Memories of chasing, gnawing, and tearing. They're back. They're back. They've all come back. Hello, we're just one step away from freedom. Once we pass through this gate, no one will be able to stop us. So this hostage is useless now. Kill him, Moktok. He's getting away. Do something, Joshua. Just like the old days, you useless loser. Just do something. Maybe the Shoshin Bacentra can strike a deal in exchange for his life. He can use his status to help us escape from the Shoshu. What do you think, Mr. Joshu? Janjo. Jaoshu, Janjo. Just look at you, fallen solo during my absence. You're even negotiating with livestock. As far as I recall, no one from the Yao Xing would ever consider a deal with Duran's offspring. Got to make this beast stay here, whereas for the sake of Aisha or the Yao Xing. Deal? I certainly have more value alive. Hey, Sushi, what's up? My identity, my knowledge of the Janjo, and my understanding of many things that your minions have no knowledge of, it will all be valuable. Lowly beast, muster the pitiful tongue of yours and plead for what remains of your life. Speak up. I'm afraid you're unaware. The woman who defeated you, Jin Liu, she has recently returned to the Luofu. Your opportunity for revenge is right in front of you. I mean, he ain't lying. My lord, this slave is talking nonsense. I've never heard anything about this. May I just kill him now? Silence, Motok, and you, slave. From now on, you will stay by my side. You will only speak and move when I allow you to. Otherwise, I'll dismember you from head to tail, inch by inch. Got it? Yes, sir. It will. But, my lord, we must stay here for some time, Moktok. Fear not, because once I step out of the prison, it's the people of the Shanjo who shall tremble in fear. I will show them what true calamity means. Now, Jorn whelps, follow me. He is not happy. Woo. Um. Narunda! Surprise, motherfucker! How? Oh, howling noise! Howling noise! How? Oh, How? Oh. oh, cinematic time! Damn, we didn't make it in time. What's a wolf to a kitty? True. The prisoner of a revolt in the criminal hallway is nowhere to be found. What about the Yaoshing Masentris and the Nimbus? No news at the moment, we're trying to restore contact with the Shackling prison as soon as possible. I see, you're dismissed. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> It's just as we suspected, the rise of the Imperial Harbor was not the end of things, but the beginning. The hand of the Ruined Legion has already sown the seeds of destruction. From this moment on, the Xiangzhou Alliance will face an even greater challenge, from both the abomination of abundance and the destruction itself. If this is what they want, I'm always up for a challenge. I bye. As a martial special envoy, I'll dispatch a Lu for Cloud Knight to pursue Hula myself. Ooh. Take me to Papa, big puppy man and destroyer. Looks like the hidden dregs have finally come to the surface, and as I said before, it's time to wash them away once and for all. The dregs. 
After a brief but devastating loss of communication, the lockdown shackling prisoners once more under control. The express nameless may have emerged unarmed, but one of the Yaoxing envoys has been taken hostage. Indubitably. Indubs. Uh, meanwhile, the boys in Warhead who lay long confined to the depths of Shackling Prison has vanished with a trace of the Shackling Prison. I savage my head. A pursuit between the hunter and the hunted will soon play out on the Shanshu Luofu in the next patch. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -bum. Get pranked. Is it actually in the next patch? Uh, reading that fast reminds me of an auctioneer. Are you trying to auction something? No, it's just because in those small moments when there's like the text in the black screen, it actually goes away faster sometimes and like when you read it in your mind it's like really easy to read as fast but when you try to speak it out loud it goes way too fast so i have to speak to speak super fast but also i tend to speak very fast because i'm worried that reading everything make people bored so i try to do the text fast so we can move on to you know the content i guess i don't know uh okay so it is actually literally uh We'll have to wait until the next patch. That's that's crazy. <laughs> we actually got pranked. Alright. Anyway, cheers mates.